Hi everyone. Hi guys. Welcome to a <laughs> podcast. <laughs> we'll say this relationship. <laughs> I'm, I'm Sarah Sheehan. I'm Sarah Sheehan. Episode of the podcast. I'm Joshua Ham. <laughs> and today's I used my full name there. Weird. And on today's episode of the podcast, we talked about <laughs> Barry. Barry, and we talked about Starkid's prophecy. We did. And then we did our Reddit and listener stories. We did those too. And I'll try to remember the timestamp. Yes, yeah, so you're doing I did, it this I did time. put in the timestamps last time. I know people gave me a little bit. They of They just don't for like it. to read. They didn't scroll all the way down. Yeah, it's, it's all the way at the, the bottom. It's buried though, so it I is, get it. Yeah. I'm not, I get not. I just it. forgot to put in zero zero. For the beginning timestamp, but that's why YouTube and Spotify probably didn't recognize it automatically. But we're gonna do that this time, so it's gonna go up. Uh, raise five stars on Apple and Spotify podcasts, and also check out our Patreon and buy me a coffee at APWSDR on both of those websites. I'm turning 24 this week. My birthday is on the 25th, so if you want to send a birthday message, uh, he's asking money, you for money for I his will, birthday. I'm I'm no longer asking. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, that's all in the description. Please enjoy the show. Yeah. And we'll see you there. Enjoy. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Guess what I didn't do this week for the first time in three weeks? What did you I not? Didn't, I didn't eat peanut butter before the podcast. What? Yeah. Look at you. I'm, I'm growing up. That's <laughs> gross. Being a growing up, I'm turning 24 this week. You are turning 24 yeah. this week. Ha- everybody think- say happy birthday to Josh. Is it going to be the day after this podcast goes out? No, it's going to be Thursday. It's Thursday? So two days after. Okay, Yeah, wow. today's the 20th, so. Oh my God, Jesus. Five yeah. days. I got five days. You got five 24. days to enjoy your 23rd. Yeah. Buymeacoffee.com forward slash. <laughs> Buy Josh a coffee Buy. for happy birthday time. Yeah. What if I just put a big wish list up there and just like fucking. <laughs> I straight up thought about it because I'm getting all this stuff from my desk at work and it's like a lot of money. So you're like. Oh, fuck. If I just threw this up, people would buy it for me. <laughs> like, uh, I don't want to do that. Though. I don't want to do that. I think that's a little too weird. I feel yeah. like. I feel like there's something lost when it's just like you're getting a bunch of goods. Yeah. Sent to your door. Bro, I saw this girl on TikTok and no shade to her because she is killing it right now. But um, she fucked up her hair real bad. She had brown hair dye in her hair and she bleached it. Oh, shit. And um, she, I don't know, something happened to where all of her hair is falling out, basically. Mm. Legit, like a lot of her hair fell out. Like just in clumps as in the shower. Yeah. And she made a video Jesus. about it and it went viral. And now she's being flown out to somewhere to get her hair fixed. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Which is really cool. And it keeps happening now as like an advertisement of people. Yeah. <laughs> but now her whole TikTok is about her hair. See, that's the that's the doom of yeah. going viral. I can t- attest to that personally. Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't flown to get it fixed yet. So it's just multiple videos a day or one, one video a day about of her like, being like getting ready with me to fly over to get my hair fixed. Shit, man. You know, and like it's just that over and over again. People really don't talk about the hellscape of content creation and influencer. Well, like, <laughs> I just think it's funny to be like, I mean, luckily we were we had like a, a thing that we do a lot. Yeah. And that thing went viral. Yeah. Um, But. Like, so, like, what if you're just like a person and you want to just be like an influencer in general? Yeah, right. You know, yeah. like you don't want to have like a thing to do. You just want to be like sell makeup, or I don't even know. Like, you don't want to. Ha- you just want to like wear clothes, wear clothes sometimes, maybe go out every once in a while. Yeah, you know, like if fucking like Emma Chamberlain, which I'm sure she does a lot of stuff now, but like yeah, right. I don't know what she fucking did. But before. like getting pigeonholed is like into like. No, no, no. Specific- That's oh, not like, what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So I'm saying like well, fucking. What if you just want to get famous? Yeah. And then you do something because you're vlogging your life or something and you get that one video gets famous. Yeah. And then how do you turn that into a brand? Yeah. Because there true. are people out there that think that's how it works. But it's not. No, it isn't. <laughs> like you get 5 million views on one video and now everybody's watching you for the rest of your life. Fuck no. It's like, that's no, not... they're going to forget in five minutes. They're totally going to forget in five minutes. <laughs> you have to do other things. Yeah, you got to you gotta learn you know? how to juggle and also be able to unicycle and also... <laughs> yeah, No, yeah. Like, you actually have to learn how to do stuff. And I'm not saying that she doesn't or no, that yeah, other people don't. It's just, it's funny to me to see that happen and then, because like, I'm like, what's the plan? Yeah, now you have to, what's your strategy here? What's, yeah, like, eventually your hair is going to get fixed. Yeah. What's the plan after that? And I guess it's to that. like get it into like outfit of the day stuff for her, which and I think that's, is smart. That's smart. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm like, what if you're someone that just, you know, 
just fucking, wants to, yeah. You just want to be. You just want to be rich and famous. And I don't you know. weren't born into that. How do you do that? You don't. I, you, don't, you, you really don't. don't. But like, <laughs> what's the plan? What's going through your head? What I don't are you? Know, what are yeah. you trying to do? I really can't. Yeah, because I can't even like explain how the fuck we got to where we are. No, that isn't make any sense. A, a variation. I, I, we've talked about this so much about like just getting lucky, like just straight and up. And we're not like, even there yet. And we're I mean, not even there. No, they want to be like Kim Kardashian. Oh, I don't. I don't know how the fuck you do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't even want to do that. God, I feel no. like you gotta like bleed into a chalice or something to oh, do that. Oh, for sure. They're like you know some I mean? sort of like blood sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bleed up. on a stone, on like a Mayan stone thing. On, on one day specifically of the year. Yeah. And like eat a baby or something. I don't know. Adrenochrome. <laughs> Go to some, some, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> video oh. taken down immediately. Taken down. Oh, did you? Oh, I forgot to tell you this. We got a video uh, age restricted mm. from like 1E20. That makes sense. Uh, fucking, um, it was when we were doing, or maybe even 2021, because oh. this was right after uh, we were talking about, it was when we were doing the worst takes. Oh. And apparently, yeah. because we were talking about Tucker Carlson mm. and like we were making fun of like his like misogyny, I got an email being like, you can't talk about, you can't say this. Because the thing was excessive swearing or vulgarity is uh, that enough to like get me. you. Yeah. I think it was, but the time stamp they give was literally me starting, and the first word was just bitch out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, that's fair. That's oh, fair. Okay, well. Yeah. So, yeah, that's fun. So, Tucker Carlson can do it. Yeah, it's like, but if, we, but if, we, we, if we make fun of Tucker Carlson doing that, then we're actually, we should be killed. Wow. Yeah. We should be shot. That's what, because that's called free speech. That's what that email said. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube just <laughs> said you should YouTube be taking an out, email. out back and shot. We're taking this, this video down and taking you out back. Yeah. <laughs> God, that fucking TikTok video of the guy doing the emo <laughs> intro to Old Yeller. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the best video on the internet. God, I I Go hate, look it up, guys. I really god. Oh, yeah, do you Only wish? good emo. Only good emo is that right there. That's it. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm putting my foot in the ground. Yeah. My chemical romance, more like my chemical <laughs> fart man. Oh yeah. god. Damn. <laughs> His random guy on laugh. TikTok. He's like laughing. He's laughing while he's doing it. Yeah, realizing what he's doing. <laughs> he knows how ridiculous it is. He knows. He knows the the crime against God he's making. Yeah. You know. God, it's so funny. God. But yeah, I'm turning 24 next week. Is my you main are, point. You are. It's my main 24. point to all this this segment. So Man. yeah, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, to Josh. I'm still gonna have to go to fucking work. And by work, I mean do this podcast. <laughs> but fucking yeah, it's on Thursday. You don't have to work on. Yeah, Thursday. I don't have to do shit. Yeah, I had to work on Thursday, but yeah. Blank to my team lead. Hey, I'm out of town until Thursday because yeah, it's my birthday week and it's mental health week. So also fuck off. Like <laughs> yeah, right. God, but yeah, no fucking like yeah. It's you know I'm excited. Get old. Nice. Yeah, and I'm happy that I'm in a good place right now. You know to like like my the career's taking off a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. Fucking doing this is becoming like more of my job every day, and that's nice. Mm -hmm. Like I, I think by the end of the year, I think we'll be in a much better place than we are now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, so I'm excited. It's gonna be a good year. It's gonna be a good Josh year, you know. Yeah, I think the so physical too. quarter of, is gonna start off pretty strong, I think. Yeah, the Josh brand, the Josh brand, the Josh brand, just yeah. the Josh, Josh brand, just the Josh brand. Oh, okay. Fine. Well, I mean, the, the good news is that the that your brand and the podcast brand they're all kind of linked together. So if one goes up, the others are gonna. <laughs> they're also gonna, but not as much. Not as much, yeah. No, yeah. Right. No. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> mm yeah. It's not like your brand isn't already above my brand. Fucking, I'm, I'm onto you. I'm watching you. Got you. Got exactly 15 more followers than me. You did you count? No, I did. I was okay. Just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna That'd be so fucking, fucking funny. say, Josh. That's a problem <laughs> if you counted. No, I know. I know that the podcast has more than me. That's about it. That's I haven't really. Like, yeah. Oh, I don't even That's know. Funny. <laughs> That'd be so funny if like I had like like a little like I got a third you monitor. Have a spreadsheet. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm like getting a I'm line getting, graph. Yeah, a line graph that updates like the like yeah. the YouTube live thing, but yeah. it's just all of our Twitter accounts. <laughs> and they don't even update every day because who the fuck is following us every day? No one. No one, no. But every day, once in a while. Yeah. Boop. Boop. <laughs> it's like it's like at three in the afternoon. Like I'm not even in the room when it happens. And just, I come back and I'm like, oh alone. fuck, I missed yeah, it. Yeah, you just scream fuck at the <laughs> at the top of your lungs. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. God. That'd be so funny, yeah. Entering 2024 or 20, uh, my 24 year old age. What? Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. What do you want to do? 
for my birthday for well just for, just for the year of 2024 uh i don't know 2024 of 24 24 i don't fucking know because it's not like a special number right like it's just it's kind of like it's it's a mid (laughs) number i guess i'm entering my mid 20s so i guess it's more more about just taking more shit seriously i guess yeah yeah like i I mean i don't know i I think when i was 24 i was just scared of getting older Mm. and then everyone else and then no one really um, assuages your fears. They just call you a fucking idiot for thinking you're old, and then you're like, I mean, okay, I, I, I'm still yeah, I'm, sad. It yeah, doesn't I'm make the aging. sadness. Yeah. Yelling at me doesn't make the sadness go away. I believe say, it or not, it is. It is a little scary. The idea that, like, and I don't even know if this is true, but I keep saying it. Like, your brain stops developing at 25. I don't even think that's true. That's yeah. probably not true. Yeah, but the idea that, like, oh, my body's gonna start deteriorating soon. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna cause me to go to the gym more often. I think. I think that's. You know, I have more. Um, I have more hope now than I think I did when I was twenty three, twenty four. Really? I felt like I was like it was all gonna end <laughs> at twenty three, twenty four, and now I'm just kind of like I'm excited to be thirty. I think. Yeah, I think I'll hit at least thirty. I'm excited. Forty, I'm, we'll see. But you know, fucking. you know, I, it's once you start getting into the age where like the older people start taking you under, not under their wing, but like as part Actually, of their seriously like, like they just acknowledge you as part of their group yeah instead of being with younger people i think that right now that's my problem is younger people think i'm a part of their group and older people think i'm a part of their group and i'm just kind of in the middle yeah i don't feel at, with any group <laughs> no same i also don't yeah um but i think also we kind of both feel disenfranchised from our age you know yeah, I get what you mean. Like when I was growing up, people were like, "You are so mature for or your age." Whatever you say, like the old soul, fucking like I've gotten yeah. called that before. Like, I think my dad called me that. No, same. <laughs> like my dad said, I was two going on twenty-seven. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, same. Yeah. I was called an old soul too, and it's so. like that's just trauma. Yeah, right. Like fucking. Yeah, you're forced know. to grow up faster than yeah. other kids. Like I don't know. It's fucking um. It's interesting because I definitely remember, like, I my sisters are like seven and nine years older than me. Mm. I think I've talked about before the idea that, like, because they were older than me, I would hang out with like them and older people a lot more. So I'd be like part of their group. Yeah, and I think I still take a lot of that, like, you know, because like I watched Borat like before I was like thirteen. I think you know what I mean. You were walking around saying my wife, my wife, when yeah. no one knew what a wife was. Yeah, like I was yeah. making references to shit that like would make my teachers laugh, but not like mm. my 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 uh, fellow classmates laugh. Interesting. Yeah. Until like high school, but then like that was more like because like I was getting more into YouTube like just in general, you know. Yeah. And that was like more, and that's like an interesting thing with like the internet is the mishmashing of like ages, you know. Yeah, and I think also it's interesting because, I, I mean, YouTube was really fucking edgy when it came out. Oh, yeah, for and sure. now if you think back, it's like, why? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, like, yeah, there's not like TV a... wasn't, wasn't edgy. I mean, maybe comedians were more edgy, but, like, it was just, like, people were just more racist and yeah, that's misogynist. Really, yeah. But, like, it was, like, YouTube was this new thing that came out where people could say whatever they wanted. And then people said whatever they wanted. And, they and Yeah. And then... 12 year olds were watching it yeah and god knows what that did to this country yeah. like i remember being in elementary school and everyone was quoting shane dawson's blackface oh, videos oh yeah and then Fuck. i was like joking about it and then a teacher being like don't do that yeah right like that's terrible those are awful jokes and we'd be like why i don't <laughs> understand i'm eight <laughs> you know and i'm smarter like- than you teacher come on <laughs> No, just like I don't understand what racism is because I'm eight. Yeah, that's fair. You know, and it's it's so it's such a weird, complicated issue. You know. Yeah, and I will say, like doing this podcast now, it's very interesting. Like the age groups that we represent. Like I was looking at the Spotify analytics because that's like the only one that like they'll show me really like that I can actually go to because Spotify runs our the podcasting platform we do. So God bless Spotify. Thank you. God don't take us you. off. But like, uh, like it's interesting seeing that like. It's like it's like a very like pretty big like boom and then like a slower descent where it's like 18 to like 23 or some shit. Mm-hmm. 22 is like maybe like 10, 17 percent. And that's most people around our age, like 23, 27. Mm-hmm. And then 28 doesn't have that much of a drop off. And then like 35 doesn't have much of a drop off. Okay. Like so it's interesting. I think our drop off starts it's more around. Older. Yeah. Like it's mostly people our age or older and then some younger people. Thank Christ. <laughs> I listen. 
teen like teens i'm taking a um a ceramic class right now and there are two teens in there then they're literally in the ninth grade freaks me the fuck out but like uh because i keep cursing and mm. keep i have to remember not to curse because all the adults in the room get mad at me and they don't care because they're probably cursing yeah of but course like, yeah. i curse like a sailor in my regular life yeah and also i'm doing ceramics throwing on a wheel yeah i'm cursing every two seconds because i'm <laughs> terrible at it <laughs> uh you know freaking i i don't know they're they're very they're delightful those kids you know they're very much like you know youthful and they love being young and they literally walk around saying it and i it, it makes me happy about that yeah that's good for them yeah you know i'm sure there are older people that are like Oh, yeah, I want younger so generations young. to be more hopeful than I yeah. am. I don't want them. I, I mean, I don't want to bullshit them. Kill myself <laughs> when I was in the ninth grade. These these little girls, they're walking around like I love band camp. I <laughs> love being outside and walking around and having free time. And I don't have the damn. I mean, and every day I'm like, every day is a struggle to get up. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like that in the ninth grade. Hmm. you know so it's it's nice to see that kids are like that yeah i don't want to taint their their hope no. collisions too much you know yeah, I, at all i don't want to bullshit them either i don't like, even yeah. I, don't, I don't even want to touch them as far as i think i'm like made of black tar and yeah. if i if i touch an innocent <laughs> if, I touch yeah. an innocent, if i sort of even brush up against them i think i'm going to rub off on them and i don't want to yeah i feel that i get what you mean but yeah, no, so I know it's very like I don't know. I I I know we have a, we have somewhat of a younger audience compared to us, but like it's also still close to our age. Yeah, like it's not like I think we're one percent, one zero to seventeen. And when I say young, I don't mean like nineteen year olds. I mean like twelve year olds. Twelve year olds. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Keep keep us away from get kids out of here. <sighs> yeah. I'm not gonna call you guys crotch goblins though. I feel like a lot of people that's like, such a in weird our, in our uh audience have said that and i'm like i don't approve of this it's like a millennial i don't i mean okay and no one's gonna agree with me now because it's been so far it's been so many years since that word was a phrase mm. began as a phrase but it started with the uh the child free people when they started on reddit i think oh that was the first time i saw it which was in like 2012 2011 yeah and um yeah yeah second second obama year second time obama obama yeah obama around the second time and yeah they would be like i don't want i don't want crotch goblins and then everyone was like "Ooh, crotch <laughs> that's a funny thing to say <laughs> and now it's gonna roll with and now it. it's been 11 years of people saying crotch goblins and yeah i'm over it i'm, I'm over, over it, it. <laughs> yeah because the fucking millenni the millennials did that and that was their kind of that's definitely a millennial thing yeah but it's like on the fringe of millennial humor because it's not like The Office. So there are people that are <laughs> anti The Office, yeah. but pro crotch goblins. That's weird. And you don't understand. I think you're the same. Like, I think you're part of the Everyone's same group. the same. Yeah, that doesn't matter. And what's also funny is The Office would totally say crotch goblins. Oh, for sure. Like, oh, yeah. If you're so anti The Office, you've never seen it. You don't know how edgy they actually were on The Office. I, I could hear Michael Scott saying crotch goblin yeah, for sure. I, I could hear fucking um, uh, Angela saying crotch goblin. Yes, absolutely yeah. Angela. Or Oscar, because oh, he's gay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he was the stereotypical gay I don't want kids guy, I think. Oh, yeah. <sighs> actually, I don't remember. I know he was getting married to the mayor. Right? I don't fucking remember. Or he was, no, he was having an affair with the mayor who was secretly. Uh, what, uh, that show was a fucking. Who, yeah. Who, who, get out. We gotta get off the tangent. We gotta get off the tangent. We can't go. We can't go down the office rabbit hole. I had to unsubscribe from the office subreddit because they keep posting about it like every day, multiple times every day. Yeah. And I'm like, this show is old as fuck. I'm sorry. I can't. They posted about the, um, like how awkward it was, the scene where Phyllis is publicly masturbating. You remember that? No, I don't. I never watched, I never really watched The Office. She was listening to 50, she, there's it. a scene where Phyllis, the like big fat lady, that's yeah, like no, the I, joke I, is that she's big and fat. Yeah. And she's in a successful marriage. Um, <laughs> very funny already. I'm already really cool, laughing. I'm already joke. laughing my ass off here. Yeah. Um, she's there's a there's a thing because it was around Fifty Shades of Grey when that was happening. Oh, she's listening to an audiobook of Fifty Shades of Grey and she's masturbating at her desk. 
awesome. And it's like <laughs> played for laughs. <laughs> Fucking and people just now are like, this was really awkward. And it's like, yeah, that's sexual assault. <laughs> sexual harassment. If a man whipped out his dick and started publicly masturbating in the office, yeah, be fucking, it's not that yeah. funny, right? No, woman, haha, funny. It's not funny Bad at all. Woman, do it, haha, funny. Yeah, yeah. A woman that you think is not attractive just yeah, doing ugly, it. Yeah, so. ugly, broad. <laughs> I'm Greg Daniels. <laughs> can she fit in a rowboat? Phyllis, can she fit in a rowboat? God, I don't. I, I we gotta get off. I can't. I'm you can't so, deal with I'm the office. Ar- no, I'm already so bored from the office. <laughs> Straight okay. fucking up. I'm already like, God. God I'm just having I flash. think there are some alright jokes. I think there's some alright ones, but I'm just remembering the wars. I'm just remembering the office wars. Yeah. Versus community. <laughs> versus community? There were there was there a, wasn't. I mean no. I, I think there was a personal my personal you demons. Personal, yeah. I thought it was kind of okay. I watched the office and the community around the same time. That's fair. I mean, yeah, they were airing the same time, but that was definitely more of a. I did not like eight thirty was done. I was off. I was off the fucking. You were done. I was done. I don't know. Kevin dropping the chili is funny. Yeah, that's the only, the only good one. <laughs> that was really funny. That's the only good thing the office has ever done. Is or that... the the um Stanley hentai thing. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. a lot of yeah. It's some stuff. We gotta talk about Barry. All right, let's talk we gotta about talk Barry. about Barry. I know you saw it last week. And I'm, I'm. I, th- putting... I think it got better. You think it got better? I think it got better. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think it it stayed the I same. Think I think it was still awesome. great. I think it was. I... <laughs> Bro, Fugues. Yo, Holy oh God. shit! This is my favorite Spoilers character for Barry two weeks ago. But yeah, fucking yeah, uh, yeah fucking this episode like. I was. It, it was very funny for me watching this because I know that your all your complaints were basically what happened to everyone else. Yeah, and then, like, and then immediately first they, shot they is bring us coming back out in. with like the beefiest arms, beefiest like <laughs> with the big <laughs> raven tat on yeah, his chest, which is so, so funny. fucking funny. That was. Um, I was like, hell yeah, yeah. God, and also him just like seeing some lady in the coffee shop. Yeah, and then immediately, immediately he's... around the arm, and they're married. Are they married? I think that's. I think they said no. It's fiance. Fiance. Yeah, yeah. because now he's going to be a father. Yeah. To, the to her daughter. Daughter. Yeah. Who's going to college? God. But yeah, no. So fucking um. Yeah, I, I will say this one is still better. I think the show's quality is is still getting higher. It's still it's still fantastic. It, it really is just pushing every boundary. It's they're now caricatures of themselves because you just like you know you the, you did the correct thing with the time skip where you went forward you know and now yeah. everyone's just like a it's fully a comedy show. Actually, we need to go we need to go back in time to b- before they got on the plane to the islands. <laughs> <laughs> there's not going to be a week where I can't compare this to Lost. I'm sorry. Why? Because there's up there's because we had a flash forward. Yeah, I guess now we have a plot back. <laughs> Dude, how how fucking I mean, and the writer strike happened at the same time, so we're just I can't, you know, technically speaking, <laughs> if they were still filming and the, if it wasn't done, we would stupid. be fucked. Yeah. All right, now we gotta watch Lost after no, this. No, I'm not. You know I'm what? Not yeah, doing yeah, it. I'm no, not we fucking have to. Doing it. Fucking flashbacks. I'm not doing it. The Flash show forward. started off with flashbacks. They were like, I don't know where to go from here. We asked ourselves too many questions. Now we're gonna have flash sideways. <laughs> yeah, which is awesome. Flash forwards Great. and then flash no fucking sideways, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? That's so funny. So yeah, no, but yeah, like literally the mystery box, guys. What's Barry's mystery box go right now? I don't know. Is Barry a good person? Yeah, and he's not. Like he's that's not, yeah. that's the thing. We we answered that question. <laughs> I just liked <laughs> repeating the same shit that we did last week. What I'm are remembering the hints it. to? Um, and I guess spoilers for Succession. What are the hints to what's his face? The old man's death. <laughs> He's really fucking old. Yeah. <laughs> Is Barry a good person? No, no he's he keeps not. Murdering he is people. a murderer. <laughs> God. Yeah. I will say. Okay. So I, the things that I this episode definitely felt like. Um, uh, I feel like there's somehow there's not a lot to talk about only because there was so much going on. Yeah. Between Fuchs getting out of prison and reuniting with Noho Hank <laughs> because they both now have a vendetta against Barry. Still, I guess. They still have a vendetta. I think Noho Hank is trying to move on. 
Yeah, but Fuchs is very pissed off. He wants Barry to, and like he wants to be already, out of Barry. Yeah, yeah, and he's like, um, what's it called? Fucking. Oh no! So shit sure happened into this in this one, right? With um Sally, yeah, with Sally. No, and- with Barry. At the end. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that was the big twist oh, at the fuck, end. I'm excited. For yeah. Tomorrow. Oh shit. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I think Fuchs is my favorite reveal. I was so excited. With all of his tattoos and his fucking stupid, his fucking stupid ass. Yeah. And I think that's, it's, they have a really good chance of it being really comedic, him finding Barry. He could either be, like, it's, it's a really good chance for both comedy and drama, because if he's still the stupid, fluttering piece of shit that manager, is, yeah. like, you know, he's, in, you know, jail didn't harden him at all. He's still the same fucking coward. Which he kind ass. of is, yeah. But like, we don't know yet. We because he's changed. We haven't seen any of his actions yet. That's true. And but, he's really putting on a like a show. Yeah, and I think you know? that really kind of came out during that dinner where he's talking about like Cristobal. Like he's really trying to push like Hank. Yeah, he's like, Hank, you murdered Cristobal. That's awesome. That's awesome. And then Hank is like, it's like freaking out and like because having... he's like, no, and he's trying to kick him out, and he's like, I'm not leaving. Fuck you. you yeah. Know? So I think, yeah, he's kind of putting out a front, but I just think it would be really funny if he met Barry and he folds again. Which, you know... Might happen. Might happen. It genuinely might fucking happen. But, um... I I think that would just be really fucking funny. Or, he's not. He's now pushed past the point, and he's now a fucking... Yeah. He's so enraged that he's gonna murder Barry. True. You know? And yeah, like a Greek tragedy. Because now it seems like Barry might have been, might have rehabilitated himself. You know what I mean? What do you mean, like, um... Well, because, like, he's trying to kill Kusino. Yeah, but then But then he's... saw the little boy go into the house. And he, as he's, like, sitting outside of um, Kusino's house, or uh, Kusino's son's house... Yeah. He saw Kusino's grandson walk into the house, and he... Couldn't do couldn't it, do yeah. It. He couldn't go in. And I will say, that's the interest... I think that is that's one of the, the interesting... interesting part to me, yeah. Is how he oh man i think this is like still going to like he doesn't really know what to do anymore yeah and well he never has he really. never has and now he's because like now his new fuchs is just a bunch of um podcasts about yeah, about <laughs> christ. christ oh yeah the is murder technically a sin and he the only one that he could find was an ex-con yeah who and it was did also murder someone. Uh, what is it like uh, i think that was the one that was voiced by a uh, bill burr and then eventually he yeah. was like, so is murder okay? Yeah, it's okay. And then Barry's me like, okay, cool. Stop. And then yeah, because he's like, goes yeah. to Walmart and buys a gun. But he's listening to another podcast. I just spit over you. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. But like he goes to another podcast and he's immediately like, right as he walks away with the guns, it's like, well, actually, maybe murder isn't that great. And he just stops in his tracks. Uh, so that wasn't the Bill Burr one. That was the that was a different yeah, one. That was a different yeah. different one. And the, then he heard the Bill Burr one where it's like, yeah, sometimes Christ allows murder to happen. And he goes, finally, it's, thanks. It's like a sign. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, thank God. That's all I need. Yeah. And yeah. then, yeah. So I think there is still like uh, it, the internal conflict is still very much external, or at least it's still like um, under the influence of another person. Like Barry still doesn't like have complete control. Yeah. He needs someone else to tell him what is and isn't okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, absolutely. External. That's a good, that's a good point. Cause it's like, and that's something also I personally have struggled with um, after being abused in my childhood. Uh, which is like you know growing up and thinking like am i a good person do people like me am i a likable person yeah and it's also something that my shitty fucking mom would always be like why do you need approval from other people and i was like because i'm deeply insecure because you you do yeah that to me (laughs) yeah like i would ask her like why are you being such a piece of shit to me and she'd be like why do you need my approval why can't i just be a piece of shit to you and you just be totally fine and i was like come on pussy come on (laughs) Because that's not how mother-daughter relationships work, actually. <laughs> that's not how that works. Like, imagine if you had a fight with a crazy person on the subway, and they're like, you're from, going to hell, you're, you're from hell, you're a demon from hell. And then you go to your mom, and then your mom's like, you're a demon from hell. Everyone's gonna, yeah, you're just gonna assume that Which everyone, one yeah. is, are, are those the same? Are they the same? Question mark? Now no, imagining, now actually. imagining, like your mother listening to a podcast before talking Absolutely. to you, being like, "Is it okay to abuse your daughter?" Well, sometimes there's a sign. <laughs> you know? She's she's probably on those estranged parents. Oh, for sure, yeah. Uh, things where it's like, my daughter abandoned me after I abused her for twenty five years. 
Why won't you speak to me? Why won't you do it? <laughs> Which we'll get into that later. This is about Barry, right? Yeah, now. but no, fucking. Um, but yeah, it, that that external validation because he's a deeply insecure human being. You know what I mean? Yeah, and not really and like just constantly having murdered yeah. and growing a conscience at some point. And I will say his twist really works. And uh, part of me, I was actually kind of confused by the ending of it, only because I thought Barry looked a lot younger than he did in the episode. Oh, interesting. I don't. That was the only reason why I was confused, though. Wouldn't that be interesting? If the entire time that was all just fake, but it can't, that was that all can't in be fake. his head or something. But for some reason, because Bill Hader looked a lot more like normal Bill Hader as opposed to, you know what it might be honestly, it's because in that shot he didn't have glasses on. That might be the only reason I got confused because I'm like a five year old. He's wearing glasses to show permanent. that time has passed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that was like an yeah. actual thing because his name's Clark. Yeah, and that was yes. referencing Clark Kent. Yeah, someone like, said that. Yeah. yeah. But no, I don't know. I what what else have happened? Fuck, there's a lot of shit that happened. Um, she, Sally, she, S- yeah, someone. And I think it was the guy from her job, but or someone else. We don't really know. Basically, broke in and just fucked shit up. Yeah, and she kind of. But it's also like a, almost like a hallucination, like remembering that. Like yeah, how it was shown because it didn't really make any sense. Because she, you know, once again, it kind of really reinforced the sort of how she's disenfranchised from her own son. Yeah, we're like because like he hates being with her, really bad. Yeah, and she's not she's not very motherly with him at all. No, not at all. So like, she hates she literally him. like slips him alcohol just so he would like so pass she out. doesn't have to deal with him. Yeah. Um, and she like you know he won't eat what she makes and she burns it so she's like not paying attention and you know she's just yeah. doing a terrible job and it it's interesting to me. <sighs> um. And I think it's because I don't know much about that dynamic of having like an alcoholic mother mm. that's like not interested because I think if you were a kid, if you were a young boy and you did have an alcoholic mother, there probably is a level of hatred that I just personally don't understand. Yeah. Because my type of abuse that I grew up with was um, kind of enmeshment mm. and also neglect. So instead of I didn't really have that that deep hatred. I had a very uh, I was a very people pleasing type of person. So yeah. I just don't understand that. But I'm sure that is like if someone did have a alcoholic mother, that is probably accurate to how they grew up. Which is mm. I fucking hate you. But it's like so stark. Yeah, that is like whoa. If any if a social worker walked in there, she'd be like, "This is a ridiculous. This is like." <laughs> This is a very extreme case of child abuse. Yeah. Oh, for sure. God. Without, you know, emotional abuse, you know. Yeah. For without sure. physical abuse. So <sighs> yeah. it was just, it's just, uh, that's why it's shocking to me, I guess. Mm. You know? I feel that. I understand that. Yeah. Huh. Damn, interesting. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what else. Fuck. Hmm. I don't know. So mm. that, I, I thought it was, yeah, it w- was kind of like a hallucination because she slips into the thing. And then at some point, the person that comes in, they l- they push her in, lock the door, fuck yeah. up the room. And then they also like drive into like the house. Yeah. But then also they say that he's not breathing because they're trying to kill the son first. Yeah. And they say like, oh, fuck, he's not breathing. And it's like, because he was. So like yeah. that's the thing to me that's like. Because he wakes up. He's he wakes fine. Up late, yeah. God. So that doesn't really make sense to me from a like a, log- a logistical standpoint. So I'm wondering if that was a hallucination. And then also there was an attack at the same time or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't fucking know either, man. Shit. That was a crazy fucking plot line, though. That was that. insane. Yeah. That was one of the very, uh, a very terrifying situation. And then also him waking up to his mother on the ground. Calling Barry. Calling, Barry, and call- using calling Barry. him Barry. Yeah. yeah. And being like, you need to come home because some fucking shit has happened. So, like, obviously, something was real. Yeah, something was real, but it's not really sure exactly what What happened. Yeah. Yeah. God. I don't know. They do a really good job of, like, painting the idea of, like, especially from Sally's point of view, because she's been the victim of uh, physical abuse a lot. Yeah. Um, Really going into her point of view and sort of the senselessness of it. Yeah. They really portray that very well. Because, I don't know. At my job, I talk to a lot of people that go through physical things. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, they're like, I don't even know what happened. 
I don't mm. even know like how that happened. And that's yeah, that's pretty accurately portrayed, I think. Shit, man. Damn. This is a comedy show. This is a comedy <laughs> show. <laughs> and then the next shot is Barry in the airport. Walking looking out, like yeah. a fucking a little midwestern <laughs> preacher man yeah and it's such a perfect shot because you're thinking back to the beginning yeah you know? or he just <laughs> and it sort of makes you think about how we got here you know yeah for sure there's also a yeah Ugh, god there's definitely one of the questions you want to you want your audience to be asking in the final season of your show is how the fuck we got here yeah it's just fantastic. Yeah. And every character the, gets that. Yeah. Kusuno uh, and his son kind of get resolved too a little bit. Yeah. Where Kusuno is worried about the movie deal and like he's trying to like say he's not going to be part of it. He's trying to stop it. Yeah. But then it's revealed that like literally after shooting his son, he just went to Israel. I think he just fled, he just fled the, the country. Because <laughs> he didn't. He, yeah. He thought Barry was after him. Yeah. Um, and so he just shot his his sort of continuing story with his son. Um, where he continuously abandons his son and then comes back and makes up. Yeah. And his son continues to take him back, which is so crazy to me. Yeah, it's pretty wild, yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, and it continues the themes of like the cycles of abuse that happen. Yeah. And um, it's also so terrifying now that they make up mm. because of everything else that's happening in the plot. It's like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Yeah, like shit. Yeah, because I don't know. It really is like we're really every episode is just pushing us closer to the edge. Mm -hmm. I don't know if next episode is going to be when it's finally pushed over or yeah. it's going to be the final episode. Right. Because there's only two more left yeah. for us. Like, you know, I know that I know for you guys, you've already seen it because we're recording before the day it comes out. Yeah. But fucking um, I don't know. I really have no fucking clue. Me neither. I have, I have no, clue. no goddamn clue where it's going. Especially now because of the Barry ending. Is, yeah, because the, the ending is like as Barry's about to go in and kill Kusano. He gets kidnapped by um Jim Moss. Which is uh and he's in the garage. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's uh Moss's father. Janice Moss. Janice Moss, yeah. Uh father who's been basically on the hunt to murder Barry. Since like season two? Or two? Three? Maybe three. I actually honestly can't remember when he was introduced because... Maybe season two. Might have been season two. Uh, maybe three? I don't remember. Why wouldn't it he? It might have been three because that was when it really started picking up like everyone's trying to get to Barry. Yeah. Because I think it was revealed to Kusuno in season two that Barry killed Moss. Oh, uh, and like at the end, yeah. And then at the end. So then I think they brought in her dad. I'm just like logically I'm like why yeah. would you wait that long? I think I don't know cuz I think they make a point and this is when they talk about the raven. <laughs> this is when uh, Oh right cuz they thought that it was the raven. They were yeah. trying to go after Fugues and that was of season, that was a season 3 thing for sure. Yeah. And then uh sort of that was when they decided to yeah. I really can't wait to rewatch this whole show yeah. from beginning to end. Uh, just binge it. Yeah, yeah. it was so good. God, uh, but yeah, no. This was this was a great episode. It was fantastic. And I really, I don't. I'm like really skeptical that I don't. I don't think they're gonna drop the ball. I don't think no, there's any fucking I, way. I've never thought that they were. This, this is like, and I feel like that's like definitely the first time that I've been really confident in saying that. Yeah, because like I feel like of other shows, even with like Community, I think near the end I was a little worried. Well, because Community had a really shaky. Like with it's like very seasons. shaky. It was yeah. like we don't even know what platform it's going to be on next season yeah right like yeah. yeah so i don't know and like i don't know like even with other shows ending i feel like this is one that really just feels the most fleshed out yeah and it really again unless it's <laughs> unless it's like a lost ending where it's like they're all it's all they're predatory, all in heaven you know? and i keep bringing that up so if it does, I'm like, I'm still hedging my bets <laughs> really on the are. idea of like, oh, they could really fuck this up pretty badly. Yeah, I guess. But I'm saying it as a joke. But then later on when it does happen, you're going to be like, I, I told you say, so. I told you guys. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm what they call an asshole. <laughs> and what they call? I'm what they call an asshole. <laughs> and because uh, you got to play both angles. Yeah, you, you do. Play both. Someone fucking uh, tweeted that like uh, earlier. It's like talking about... um. Apparently in Succession, I think Shiv plays both the angles at some point. Oh, and uh, someone, I mean, like from the beginning, I yeah, feel like the, yeah, but like fucking um, they use the uh, the Mac gif of uh, from It's Always Sunny, where he's like, yeah, you gotta play both sides, you gotta play. 
Oh, I don't know what episode that's from, but do you remember the abortion episode of It's Always Sunny yes. in Philadelphia? Yeah. Yeah, where Mac killed, uh, uh, he, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 really, yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about, yeah. Or he fucks that girl. That's the, like, anti-abortion. Because all pro-life, yeah, and yeah. Mac has, fucks her, and then she's like, I'm pregnant, and then and he's, he's like, you gotta get an abortion. <laughs> That show is so fucking funny. God, apparently season 16 is coming out like, oh, soon. Yeah. yeah. Damn. We, we should watch the whole damn we thing. We gotta watch the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm stalling Fuck. now because I don't want to do Star Kids. <laughs> well, I really right. don't. That means I really we gotta don't. do it. I really fucking don't. That means we fucking gotta do it, baby. Uh, Christ. Bring up Wattpad. Yeah. This, yeah. Just do it. Just, yeah. We... we we gotta stop the fan fiction at some point. We got no, never now. We have to. We have fuck them. I don't care. I don't care who says we have to do it. I don't All care. Right. The kid next door doesn't even like it. He's he went. Crying. He just went. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he knows how angry I'm about to get. He's yeah, crying. he's trying to. He's, he's excited. God. All right. This one's called Next Chapter. Fucking original. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I saw the good reviews some people gave me, and I wanted to come back. Also, my friend Jazzpa is helping with the chapters. She helped me with the first two, but after that, she didn't have internet, but she got it back now. And a smiley face with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chins. <laughs> so, wait, th- this is going to have a co writer from here on out? Yeah. And also, wait, what was. Okay, wait, can you re. There was something there that, like, popped out at me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm back. I saw the good reviews some people l- gave. Lies. Those are lies. And I wanted to come back. Also, okay, that's what I wanted to say. God damn it! That could have been. It was, that could have been the end. We could have ended it a fucking chapter ago. Yeah. God damn it. Yep. God fucking damn it. Yeah. Because some of you guys can't don't know how to be mean. Some of you guys just have to spread your fucking toxic. This is what toxic positivity does. It makes me have a fucking brain aneurysm every week. All right. Let me continue. But I'm, I'm pissed off. Then Stargate woke up and she was in the forest. Mew, she said, because she couldn't talk because she was a kid. Hello, kitty, said her mother, and Stargate looked up. Her mother was Holly Leaf. What? said Stargate. <laughs> it's not really like a thing. It's just like a T with an exclamation point. <laughs> so I'm just making a sound. What? said Stargate. She looked around to see where she was. We're in Thunder Clan camp, said Holly Leaf. Oh, look, here comes your father now. Into the nursery came Tiger Star. Star Kit knew there was something she should know about Tiger Star, but she didn't know what. That's your daddy, Tiger Star, said Holly Leaf. I know that name, thought Star Kit, but she could think about it because Holly Leaf said, Other kids out there go play with them. I have to talk to Tiger Star in peace. What is going on? She got reincarnated. Oh, okay. So this is. Uh... Starkit went out to the clearing and the cats were standing over the body of Star Star. Starkit looked around to see who else was in the clearing. Then she saw Redpaw and Lake Bull sitting by the side, sad with their tails lined. I don't know. I thought Star Star told you to stop being plebeian? <laughs> Lesbian. But it's plebeian. Plebeian. <laughs> it's spelled out plebeian. I thought Tiger Star. I thought Star Star told you to stop being lesbian. Said Star Kid, speaking her first words. How would you know? Said Lake Paw, getting defensive. You're just a kid. You're right. Said Star Kid. How do you know? You're Holly Leaf's kid, right? Said Red Paw. I think book. <laughs> it's the I word book. book. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking I word book. book. I think <laughs> Book and Storm for also had a kid. I think his name is Ash Kid. You should go see him, said Jay Feather. Star Kid knew there was something familiar about him, but she couldn't remember what. Yes, I uh... will, thanks, replied Star Kid, and she went back to the nursery. She saw Ash Kid, but she didn't get to talk to him because then... Wait, there... didn't we start the chapter with Star Kid not being able to... Talk. talk. Yeah, because... she said her first words, so now she can talk. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. I, so, That's I'm, how I'm, it works. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize once you say one word, you get the entire <laughs> yeah, you get the Oxford entire English language dictionary <laughs> injected into your fucking into your fucking yeah. brain. She like shot... <laughs> you're Jacob trying to fuck a baby. Yeah, you're just imprinting. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's like okay. Let me. I'm following your logic yeah, there. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I don't think imprinting means you're literally printing. 
It's not a, it's not a printing press. No. <laughs> I don't think that's what that means. I'm, I'm just sorry. I'm just saying words. Doesn't matter. They're no. saying words. Yeah, that's true. You know? Yeah. Well, they they wrote shit. them, actually. Yeah, they, well, fucking. <laughs> she saw Ash get, but she didn't get to talk to him because there was a yell from above the camp. Ha ha, lol, yelled a lot. Uh, yelled and looked up on the side. She saw Yellow Fang, Bramble Call, Call, Leaf Polo, White Storm, and Blue Star, and the other were Holly Leaf and Tiger Star. It was a war between Star Clan and the Dark Forest, said Lion Blaze, and then Star Kit realized her mom and dad were evil. I really, I'm losing it. I'm Chap- fucking. Chapter 23 The. The Star Clan warriors started attacking the camp. SpongeBob ass chapter name. <laughs> the. <laughs> the Star Clan warriors started attacking the camp, and at the head of them was Firestar. Cool. Yules shouted all around Star Kid. She ran around, but she didn't know what to do. Then a warrior ran up and she clawed him. Blood poured down his shoulder when she clawed him. He yelled and ran away. I can fight, thought Stargleam. She jumped at the cat who was running. He fell backward. He did. She was good at this. But how did she know how to fight? It was a mystery. Then a warrior came up to her. He was very big and Starpaw was afraid. She didn't know if she could fight a cat like him. He clawed her and there was red stuff coming out of her arm? Question mark. Ouch, said Star Kids. He was mad now. Anger burned in her chest. She run at him and clawed him real hard. He yowled in pain. Then she hit him in the throat. More blood came out. Oh my god. He ultra violence. Cocked, then died. He cocked, then died? Yeah. He cocked. So, usually rigor mortis happens after. Uh, I'm actually rigor mortis happens. <laughs> Fact checking um, this <laughs> cinema sin styling the <this> story. <laughs> Uh, don't things cock after death? <laughs> Sin counter is at 10 million. <laughs> 10 million. <laughs> grammar. Uh, um, uh, grammar. <laughs> and then she looked up and there was Starkland warriors running into the camp. There was Core Feather and his brother Eagle Wing. Didn't make them up okay. Craw Feather really ding. had a brother named Eagle Wing. <laughs> and Blue Star and Yellow Fang and Spotted Leaf, Black Star, White Storm. Uh, she watched when the cats fought the star clan cats drove back the dark forest ones but then but there was a noise from behind her it was glitter star i think is their name i'm really i'm just clocking out only because fucking um, we're almost done i yeah. know but like just because like there's Five so many more things. fucking people yeah there's a lot of people and i'm just i can't juggle them all that's I what can't. reading the books is like not gonna lie it's, yeah this is actually a faithful representation of yeah, what like, happened. When I was a kid and I was reading these, there was like a fucking list in the beginning, and then you would find it would be like, ooh, and this is, like, what's your name? My name is Stupid Leaf. And then you'd be like, Ugh. all I'm saying is, <laughs> and you'd go all, back to the beginning and be like, someone with ADHD. Oh, the brother. And then you'd go back and you'd be like, okay, yeah. As someone with ADHD, if this was like the first book series that mm-hmm. I would ever like ever be handed, mm-hmm. I would be fucking illiterate right now. <laughs> I would, I would, I would have, <laughs> I would have lost all faith. Honestly, though, it, I wouldn't be able it, to track any of this shit. Well, because like Game of Thrones has that. Yeah, I'm not fucking into that either. Are you well, I mean, like, you know, like, I started reading, like, Lord of the Rings, and they also had that. They had a big old I map. I'm reading War and, and Peace. Big old list. Couldn't do it. But I don't think War and Peace has that. But Because nah, <laughs> I'm just I mean, stupid, I know. But maybe like, they do. I don't, I don't really know. But, you know, it's like, if you want to get into fantasy, I guess, it's like, that's not, like, out of the question. Out of the question? Okay. It's just, like, when it's badly written, it's funny, because it's, like, that's the feeling that you get times a thousand. Yeah, it's really, it's really just putting my mind for a loop. I'm just, I'm just eyeing my ADHD meds right now. I'm just thinking, do I need to take a whole fuck ton of these right like, now just to focus on this? Overdose? Yeah. Uh, on focus? No, he said, I won't let you win, and he jumped at Blue Star, but she scratched him, and he died. From a scratch? Yeah. No! <laughs> Wait, he, he had blood coming out before, right? Or was that a different cat that I had a bunch don't of blood? Fuck it. I assume there was they're a bu- all there different. Was a bunch of, everyone's getting cut. I think I they know. all died, the ones that. Yeah. yeah. No, said Holly Leaf, her mother. Gleam Star saw the sad in her eyes. She ran from camp. It says carp, but it's carp. camp. 
She ran from carp. If I know there's one thing cats are scared of, it's fish. It is. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, Star gets hurt. Someone said, "Let's get her better." There are a lot of cats in the that are hurt, but everyone knew Star was special, so they got her treated first. That's how it should be. Then she was better. Someone said, "Oh no, Star parents are gone. Someone needs to be her parents." We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> he said a cat st- <laughs> What? <laughs> we'll do it, said a cat. Uh Star looked around. It was Red Paw and Lake Pool. No <laughs> said Star Kid. <laughs> she's got lesbian parents now. Lesbian cat parents. And she's upset because they're gay. I hope That's really funny. I hope this becomes <laughs> fucking gay conversion <laughs> therapy now. For her own parents. I hope that's what happens because I <laughs> I'm so excited for the next what's gonna, chapter. What's this conflict that's gonna happen? Finally some conflict. Finally, that's this not is just, interesting. Just not that's not just claw die. Claw die. Yeah. Cause also claw dying doesn't fucking matter anymore because this is a reincarnation, right? This is uh yeah. So There's death doesn't lives, matter. Definitely. Death, fuck it. Who cares? Gay parents? Can't fix that. Or can you? Thanks, Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. How many more chapters of this do we have? Like, um, that like was 12? twenty. That was hold on. That, that was, was like twenty four, right? That was twenty three, I think. I don't even. I don't yeah, that even, was twenty three. Okay. And now we're we're on. Oh wait, no, that wasn't twenty three, was it? They're they're wrong. The next one's twenty two lesbians, and the next one's twenty five. <laughs> Lesbians. And then there's two 27s and a 28. Pierce Hawthorne ass title. <laughs> and then another 23 and a 24. And then 32. And then 333. And then 34. And then two three fours. And then a very important message. <laughs> so we got. Oh, I'll just count them. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, I swear to fucking God. 11, 12, 13, swear to fucking 14. God, dude. We got 14. So got seven more weeks of this? Seven okay. More weeks that's of fine. This. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> About two months. <laughs> Okay, now let me say it that way. <laughs> oh, god damn it. That's including the very important message, which I think is just a Christmas episode. Oh, yeah, true, yeah. We can probably we can knock that out whenever we finish it. That's mostly a hymn, I think. Mmm. <laughs> Stark gets him. <laughs> <laughs> the Book of Stark it. The Book of Stark it, yeah. Ah, uh, man, I do not, I do not. Yeah? I'm just, I'm just here now, man. Yeah. 30 minutes, I get to turn off my brain. I think we're fully broken. I'm I'm very broken. And now I'm fully broken. Like, already, like, in my day-to-day life, I know I'm, a, like, a fundamentally broken person. Yeah. But here, it's, like, it's, like, worse. <laughs> it's, like... It's, like, in your face. You know, I can blame, like... I can forget. I, I, can, I can forget. I can blame, like, capitalism for all my other problems. Yeah. I have to blame... I have to blame someone for there's this. No, there's no one to blame but myself for this. I blame the podcast. I blame the idea of our podcast getting popular. I blame I blame fame, actually. So everyone else but yourself? Everyone else but me, yeah. <laughs> See, I'm allowed to be a huge asshole because this sucks. Because <laughs> this fucking sucks, This fucking bro. sucks. <laughs> this fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah. This is like, God. Yo, straight up, I had a therapist and I had to go to her, like, fucking weekly. Like, to whoever mm-hmm. that parent, like... If I had to go to them, like, every fucking week. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. You know what I would do? What would you do? If I had a therapist who went to weekly, I'd just read her two chapters of Stargate's <laughs> Prophecy every week. I think that therapist would fucking <laughs> lose it. I think a they would. I think that would be like, the thing that. So wait, why is she a kitten again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent question. Oh, she got reincarnated. It's like now, and now her mom is Holly Leaf, the evil one. And it's like, yeah. God, I guess you can't choose who you're reincarnated to, you know. Damn, what a true story! What a true feeling what to a, have. What a deep, what a deep idea. Deep idea. Yeah, what a yeah. If there's one thing I can call Starkets prophecy. It's, it's fucking deep. deep. Yeah, it's a deep story. <laughs> How much hole do you think this author's gotten <laughs> from <laughs> Starkets prophecy? <laughs> How much hole? <laughs> How much hole do you think they got? Dude, so much hole. <laughs> Bruh.
We had a 30 minute warm up where we just talked about it. was like maybe the best comedy I've ever done. And we didn't record it. We did. Because we're yeah. stupid. Maybe we'll we're do it dumb. at some point. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the, the whole theorem. <laughs> the whole. <laughs> yeah. The whole. The whole. Uh, Speaking of earning holes, we gotta earn cash. So. Let's ad. do some ads, baby. Ads. Welcome to the ad break. Welcome. Hey, are you enjoying this podcast so far? I know I am. Then you better like, comment, subscribe, hit the gosh darn bell, and rate us five stars on Apple and Spotify podcasts. And while Sarah cosplays getting lung cancer, <laughs> you can help fund her fake operations by going over to patreon.com forward slash APWSTR and buymecoffee.com forward slash APWSTR. I'm going to make a band called Fake Operations. Fake Operations? Yeah, get out. you're welcome. I deserve a cut of all your deals. Since I came up with the name, you got it? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. So if you go to patreon.com forward slash APWSTR, you get podcasts early. You get early access to the podcasts. Uh, I said that twice. Yeah, you get, you yeah. get them. You get them freaking early, dude. <laughs> you get them early, yeah. Yep. Uh, only, usually only the audio. The video takes a while to encode. But mm. uh, if you go over there, you also get exclusive content, our Matt Damon series, as well as access to the Patreon Discord. Which we will be getting back to soon. Yeah, we will be getting back to you this week, hopefully. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go over to buymecoffee.com, it's only $3 a coffee. You can send us a coffee and we'll say whatever you have to say as long as it's not bad. Yep. And also, I'd appreciate it for my birthday. For Josh's birthday. It's coming up. Uh, it's, it's, it's on the 25th. So we can do, we can do a whole birthday. Yep. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll stream on TikTok my birthday just so you can all. <laughs> you're not going to fucking you're forget. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to totally forget that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. But yeah, fucking. Um, let me see. I do know we have a coffee, so I'm going to pull it up. Mm hmm. At Marzipan Fraggle bought a coffee. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, Sarah and Josh. Hi. I wanted to thank y'all for your no-nonsense validation and all the Am I the Asshole posts regarding going no contact from parents. Absolutely. I'm 30 and went no contact with my dad last August. My mom is codependent with him, so that mm. relationship is going down in flames, too. Yeah. But your mix of humor and genuine empathy has been really help has been helpful AF, as I remember that uh, as a reminder that I shouldn't feel guilty about any of this. Good. I don't know. I guess they all drank too much lead. Anyway, if y'all helped me I, and didn't know, I bet you're helping a ton of people who needed to hear Not the Asshole, and that we do not have to put up with disrespectful treatment. So I thank you very much. Yeah! P.S. I also will never forgive Disney for canceling the Owl House. Yes, I also agree. That is true, yeah. I agree yeah. with that. But yeah, thank you very much for those coffees. Still have to watch that ending. We don't know when it's on Disney+. Yeah. Plus. Probably, it might be on now. It might be on. We gotta yeah. check. Yeah. But yeah, thank you for the coffee. We appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, channel memberships are available. We're going to try to start streaming this week, I think. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to do, I'm going to be playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom. We're going to like switch off sometimes. And by that, I mean I'm playing all of it. I'm playing all of you it. You didn't even do, you don't even know the controls. Figure it out. Okay. They'll teach me. They'll teach me. Yeah. <laughs> What if I, I, just, I just hope the vibe isn't like you start playing and then you get frustrated and then I fix it. You know what oh, I mean? Okay, that's fair. Yeah, don't, I don't worry. I hope that's not the vibe, but you should start off playing because you don't know the tr controls okay. and they're very specific. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. I, I'll. Uh, they're, babe, they're pretty I'm a gamer. intuitive, so I think you I'm got a, it. I'm a gamer. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm a gamer. This is still the ads. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. And uh, see you all in the red segment right now. What? Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Uh, welcome to the red segment. Yes, okay, welcome. So last week, mm -hmm. I uh, accidentally, in the YouTube and the uh, podcast description, mm -hmm. I let I had all the timestamps in there. I want to state this for myself. Timestamps were in the description, except for at the zero, 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 zero mark. So YouTube didn't automatically make chapters. And I think Spotify didn't make chapters either. Oh wow! So everyone was confused and like was linking into the just the into the comments and yeah. the comments on YouTube. Someone did the Reddit start for me, mm -hmm. but but I want to say for the record, I I do put in all the timestamps at the very bottom of the description mm -hmm. because above it is like all the actual like what we talk about, all our links, patrons, and then yeah. timestamps. That's if why I put them all the way down, down there. You do have to scroll down a little bit, a little bit, not gonna yeah. lie. But you once you get to the, the bottom, it's at. It's in the description it every there. single time. So you would be able to find it even yeah. if YouTube doesn't automatically make it. Yeah. But I do apologize if there was confusion. That was for an hour. It was, for only an hour, it was like not up there. But okay. But people lost their damn minds. People lost. It was, uh, it, there were people on the streets. <laughs> people on the streets were like screaming, APWSDR doesn't have doesn't, time yeah, stamps. There were, there were now riots. Now we have to listen to them talk. Talk about Barry. What's Barry. <laughs> But yeah, so I'll make sure this week that there are timestamps. Yeah. 
Yeah, but welcome to the red segment. Yeah. Hopefully that clears up the air. And uh, yeah. Okay. Sarah, what do you got for us? Am I the asshole for joking about how much my daughter talks? Not the asshole. It was just jokes. <laughs> Too challenging for you? <laughs> I found out I had a daughter three years ago. Whoa, okay. That's... She is 13 now. What is happening? Okay. What? At first, she was very shy and hardly talked to me or anyone in the family. But after a while, she started to talk and, well, let's just say she talks nonstop. What? <laughs> what? Stop talking. Just sh- shut the fuck up. Why can't I tell my 13 year old to shut the fuck up? Come on. <laughs> A few days ago, my mom was over, and we were talking about the first days we found out about my daughter. My mom said, remember how hard it was to get her to talk? Also a shitty comment, not gonna lie. I jokingly sighed and said, yeah, those good old days. It's even harder to get her to stop talking. Oh my god. Yeah, I said, you know, you shouldn't have, a, you shouldn't have any contact with your daughter, actually. <laughs> you, she's gonna go no contact with you, don't worry. Yeah, who, who would have... No wonder someone kept their child from you. Your yeah. child from you for 10 years. Yeah. Next thing I know, a pillow hit me in the head and now she will only talk to me in sign language. She said, parentheses signed actually, that I'm an asshole. Am I? Huh? <laughs> yes. Huh? Yes. The guy, okay, so this is the top comment on Am I the Devil? The guy's enjoying playing mind games with his child a little too much. And these are quotes from the guy. I want to see how long she can last without talking. What? What? Watching her try so hard not to talk is kind of cute. It wasn't mom. Kiddo did it. I believe that would make her the asshole. Isn't hitting people abusive? Because <laughs> as we all know, the only abuse you can go through is physical. And also, everyone knows a 13-year-old can abuse adults. Yeah, that's actually... Did you know that? That's why, That's why. like, uh, that's why it's actually their fault if they're in a relationship with a 28-year-old. And, yeah. yeah. That's why... They were mature for their age. They were very mature for their age, and that's why they can abuse you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, what a dick. What, do you, <laughs> what, what fucking... do you think? Is this guy an asshole? I think, you know, I'm going to be a little controversial here. I'm going to think he's an asshole. I'm going to think he's a huge asshole that shouldn't have kids. Yo, okay, so someone else was like, uh, I still remember when my father said to me, how could you do this to me? I'm just going to leave and you'll never see me again. What the I was fu- four. You guys are... <laughs> And at that time, I was somehow just supposed to know that he didn't actually mean it. Yo, that actually happened to me. Yeah, you know, when I was a kid, I was at my uncle's place and my mom called me and I was like a little distracted because I was watching Star Wars. Because they had me watching Star Wars and then she got pissed at me and hung up and I was like, okay, because I was like eight. Yeah. And then I went home and she refused to speak to me. Wow. Because she was like, you don't want to talk to me. What a fucking... I was eight. Yeah, you know? And she only started talking to me because I sadly wrote on a piece of paper, I'm sorry, oh my and tried God. to give it to her, and then she was like, I don't want it. And I, I sadly left it Damn, and you started were... crying as an eight-year-old. Wow, that's so really... That's, that's actually, pretty manipulative of that's, me. Yeah, very, you're actually the asshole there because... um. You tried, you tr- which is as a joke, know, but I actually we- didn't think I was being manipulative. <laughs> and you're not. Old. You're totally not. I'm sorry, but like fucking Christ, like what the fuck, hey, guy? Okay, guys, <laughs> guys. Sometimes it's so fucked up you don't even know. You can't even. I, you can't even. I, really, I can't. <laughs> you can't, I, you can't I, even. I can't stress enough. <laughs> you can't even. Die. You're just physically. You're like this is wrong. <laughs> don't know what words to say because like how the fuck or how to dissect how, it yeah because like because who would like who think about an eight-year-old, an eight-year-old now are you saying an eight-year-old is smarter than you to a uh, smart enough to abuse you and adults like are you saying a four-year-old yeah it is some pussy shit huh yeah i don't know if you guys know this you're so right i don't know if you guys know this mm-hmm. kids are fucking stupid yeah kids are dumb they Believe pee pee it or and not, poop poop in their pants. They pee pee and poop poop in their pants. In their yeah. fucking pants. I think if, their a, if a creature, the closer someone is mm-hmm. to having just learned how to use a toilet, yeah. is probably dumber than the person farther away from not learning how to, from learning how to use a toilet. No, Josh, they're manipulative. No, they're actually yeah. I really, God, man, how I man, parents being anti anti natal is only because people are abusive parents. 
<laughs> that's the only me. reason why. Like straight up, like fuck. You know, straight that's up. Me, yeah, I don't care her. about the environmental impact of having kids. Nope. I just think most of you would be shitty parents. Yes. <laughs> straight up. Yeah. God, yeah. You know, straight up. Anytime like one of our friends gets pregnant, I'm. I to me, it that feels one like time. Yeah, you know the many times that this happens. You know, I think they're good people, but I really, it, I really do feel like I could flip a coin, and that would be how how good of a parent they would be, good or bad. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I don't fucking know. I, I think honestly, personally, I don't think it's just like you have a kid and all of a sudden you're abusive. No, I don't think so either. But I think I think it's like I honestly think more often when you have a kid and you realize how far you're gonna go to protect your kid. Yeah. And you try very hard to be a good parent and sometimes you end up failing. But hopefully you have the maturity to like apologize. That's true. In general, I think that's what happens. I think there are And cases. then there are some motherfuckers. Yeah. That yeah. think an eight year old can manipulate them. You know who an an eight year old can manipulate? A seven year old. Um, Elmo. Elmo, that's it. <laughs> oh, tickle me Ernie. Elmo. <laughs> Bert and Ernie. Those are the only ones. That's it. Are you saying you have the mental capability of a puppet? <laughs> Math. A long division. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eight-year-olds can barely manipulate Play-Doh. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck. Like, it's really, it really is like, come on. A come Barbie the, doll. Stop being such a fucking pussy and be a good parent. <laughs> I don't know. I know how hard it is. Jesus. It? Listen to your daughter if she talks. Yeah. You're just gonna, you're asking for no contact and then you gotta realize how fucking like depressed you are as a human being. Yeah. When you realize that not even something you made can like you. Kill him, Josh. Damn. I'm sorry. What? Dude. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm sorry. You don't just get to come inside of someone have them carry your baby and then yeah. you get to bitch about After like 10 oh, years boo, of not being there boo hoo they talk and they want to tell you about their life yeah and maybe and maybe that's not his fault maybe the mom did keep the girl from him but like but also there might why? be a reason yeah there is there might be a reason why yeah that i, I wasn't you know, that freaked out by that i was more freaked out that this guy thinks it's super cool to just disparage his 13 year old daughter yeah but and then um, get mad when the daughter's like, fuck you. And she's obviously upset, yeah. Yeah. You know, people will have the right to tell you to go fuck yourself. That's like the whole, like, the free speech yeah, argument, absolutely. is that there's consequences to your actions. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't know, Jesus. Yeah. You have free speech in America, right? Yeah. You're not freedom of cons consequences, though. Yeah, exactly. Fucking idiot. And still go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, you're allowed to kill someone, but there's a consequence. Exactly. And it might involve you getting a fucking needle in your arm. <laughs> and that'll be the last thing you ever remember. Yeah. Well, God. I don't know how we got here. I don't but... know how we got here, but I think we solved it. Yeah, we I did. I think it's my main point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, kill the dad. Kill the dad. <laughs> That's what the solution is. Yeah. <laughs> Lethal injection the father. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Word for word. Yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't sue me. This is this is a comedy show. Oh, I forgot my commentary. It's misogynist. Oh yes, there you go. Yeah, sorry, sorry. To want a woman to stop talking. That's fair. That's fair. It just in general, if you ever hear a woman, you're like, oh god, her voice is so and that's um that's uh that's Ronald Reagan. He <laughs> yeah. did that to you. <laughs> he did that to you. That's uh the most misogynistic. That's a fucking Hearing the guy a... from Mad Men did that to you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, oh, there's fucking broads, they're fucking chirping all day, yay, 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 yay. Hey, yeah. hey mad hey madman. That's the that's his name in the show. Yeah. We gotta we gotta sell this product to men. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna about... go cheat on my wife and then I'm gonna have a good idea. I'm gonna you know? cheat idea. <laughs> God. Hey, don't we all want these broads to stop talking so yes. much? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that's why I get paid the big bucks. Yeah, yeah. that's why. Uh, yeah, I think just in general, um, and every woman who's ever spoken ever at all has had that complaint. Why can't you just stop talking broad day? And then, you know, you think maybe for a little bit, especially when you're 13 years old, uh, maybe I should stop talking. And then maybe you're never I gonna... am annoying. 
And ma- and then you spend the rest of your life listening to guys that are like, fellas, is it gay to hold hands while you pee? And that's what the conversation <laughs> is for the rest of your life. Yeah, dude. Putting he, You have all these beautiful <laughs> thoughts in your head because you're you're fucking fantastic. You but know? those those thoughts aren't. They go away because no one wants to hear them because you got tits and ass. Yeah. No. Yeah. See, those TNA. thoughts aren't fucking. Um. Because you got hole. Because you're a you hole. Did you know Tame Impala is just one guy? <laughs> <laughs> That's what men thoughts are. And also, yeah, you're just a yeah. <laughs> and you're just a hole to them. Yeah. Bitch, this is the stop O'Hiran- fucking talking. Oh, here in whole theory coming soon. Yeah. We will we will make that a thing. My whole theory, yeah. Yeah. The whole theory and nothing else. <laughs> nothing. Uh okay. Oh, no. I, I have to do work. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you do. Damn it. Um I got I gotta start with this banger one. I gotta start with this banger one. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Libs. There's in mine first because it's short. How do I, twenty eight male, break up with my girlfriend, twenty eight female, after moving away on purpose? Now that's the relationships advice title. Yeah. Then this one I swear to God has been suggested to me. Five times. Really? Yeah. This one's been suggested to you? It, well, Reddit has sent me multiple, like, push notifications about this. Oh. I got an email about it. I keep seeing it on Am I the Devil and also just scrolling, so. Yeah, I know someone sent us one of the Reddit, uh, someone, despite my uh, agony, yeah. sent us one of the Minecraft jumping things, and they were like, you guys need to read this. And I'm like, well, you want me to read the video? Yeah. The just, transcript? Just put it on the thing, yeah. and I can, I, can, I can call out for another five minutes during the segment I like doing. <laughs> That's what we should do. Yeah. We should just put, like jumping on the tv yeah we should and, and then, then just hook these up to like a, a an answering machine from the 80s and then i'm just like i'm just over here like that's reading stuff yeah all right cool sweet just earned another mill <laughs> we're just not even in shot like that's like that's yeah. the entire just sipping a drink yeah we've okay fully automated our podcast yeah. well yeah okay so again for mm-hmm. everybody okay how do i 28 male break up with my girlfriend 28 female after moving away on purpose relationship advice that's the title okay on Am I the Devil, the title should be, I tried ghosting my girlfriend of four years because I didn't like her friendship with another man. That's, yeah. That's, <laughs> yep. yeah. All right, let's All right. read it. My girlfriend and I have been together for four years now, ever since we, she was in med school. We met through some friends and got along great. She's kind, beautiful, and smart. Sounds great. However, oh, there has been this guy who I'll call Brad. Brad and her met during her last year in medical school, and they became really good friends. They had a certain chemistry and always got along well. In the beginning, it wasn't an issue, but towards the end, they were really close. It got me unnerved, but I figured they would be placed in different hospitals for residency, and my problems would solve itself. What problem? (laughs) What's the problem? That they're friends? Someone's going after her hole. and fucking (laughs) Another man. Another man, yeah. He's going after her hole. God. But just as luck would have it, they got into the same hospital for the same program, so they were going to be working together. The hospital is a little far from where we stayed, about 45 minutes, Mm. so now I don't get to see her often. I really tried to find time to go and visit her, but between her insane hours, she would only get off at 10 p.m., and my own job, I couldn't do it. At the same time, those two were getting closer. At this point, I'm pretty sure Brad had a thing for her because once when I came by, his face turned pretty sour. I didn't ask him though. <laughs> I didn't, yeah, I didn't. I didn't ask anything. I've never about spoken this. to the man, but that was just a sour face, you know. Yeah, <laughs> he was actually just eating some sour patch kids. Yeah, at the time, bad coincidence. Yeah, honestly, at this point, I'd begun to seriously worry about the relationship. Wow, I don't know what I expected, but I didn't want to come off as some petty, insecure dude. Parentheses. I did mention she and Brad had become pretty close, and she was. And she said she was very grateful to have him as a friend. I was hoping she would notice something was off about me, about no, but no, neither happened. So you just decided to not communicate at all? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a 40 chest here, Sarah. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what really was the nail in the coffin, mm. the coffin also both capitalized. That you <laughs> built yourself? Yeah. Was when her aunt, she was really close with, passed while I was on a business trip. When I offered to come, she told me she would be fine and Brad was helping her. I am a data engineer, and right after this call, I decided I was done. It was heartbreaking to play second fiddle, and I applied for jobs elsewhere, and after two months, I was offered a better job in California. When I told my girlfriend, she surprisingly got upset, but wanted me to pursue my career. 
It's been nearly six months since, and I've just been focusing on myself. I found an amazing barber and gym. I used the end of my relationship to fuel this rebuild, fuel this rebuild, and I'm pleased with the results. Surprisingly, after I moved to Cali, she and I have been talking a lot more, but I couldn't get over her and Brad, something I know is bad and have been in the therapy to improve myself. Okay. About a month ago, I posted up a picture with one of my female co-workers, nothing inappropriate, posted a couple pics with different people. Me sucking on her titties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she became even more, quote, concerned. I'm not sure if she really was, but I realized it was wrong of me to keep her in the relationship. I thought I'd just pit not pick up her calls and slowly go no contact with her. Well, a couple of hours ago, she called me crying, called 10 times at midnight, which got me worried, and said I haven't been responding to her and was asking me what she did wrong, which honestly made me feel terrible. And the spur really? of the moment... You can feel? <laughs> you can feel, yeah, right? And the, in the spur of the moment, I said nothing happened, but I was busy at work. She didn't quite believe me and wants to come to California next week. I'm really not sure what to tell her now. I mean, after how she's treated me as a second place, why the sudden change of heart? From what I know, she and Brad are still good friends. I don't want her to come, and I think I need to end this relationship for my own sake. Do I just send her a text and block her? What do I do? Too long didn't read. Girlfriend was clearly in love with another guy, but is suddenly in worried love. about me. How do I break up with her? There are two updates. Okay, what's the first update? My girlfriend just called me, and I told her that our relationship was not what it once was, and I don't think we are meant to be together. She completely lost her mind and began bawling. She kept on asking me why, I so why. So I finally caved and told her that she and Brad made me felt, felt out of place, but I took responsibility for running away and told her it was my fault, not hers. <coughs> After a lot of crying, she told me she didn't like Brad that way and was begging for me to come to my senses. At this point, I felt pretty terrible. Yeah. This is why I wanted to just text. And told her I was sorry and tried to wish her a good life. She told me she was booking tickets to come over tomorrow and we could figure it out. Oh, fuck. I told her not to come, but she wouldn't listen. She just sent me a screenshot of the tickets as well. I'm now really stressed. I don't know what to do. <laughs> update two. This will probably be my last update. Since we talked, my voicemail has been flooded by her. I'm now really worried about her. She'll be coming tonight and will be staying with me. I'm probably going to be with her for some time now. I won't be responding to any messages because things have changed now and I need to look after her. I am grateful for all of the comments. Apparently there's bad comments by him and I can't, I don't know where they are. I don't know, I can't find them yet. Damn, I haven't had enough time to find them. Nobody's commented what they are? Yeah. So, um, how do you, how do we help him break up with this girl? Uh, well, he's doing a really bad job <laughs> <Yeah>. of it. <laughs> He's really, that's not, when you break up with someone and you really want them to like stop visiting you, pro tip, do not give them your address. Yeah, if you. <laughs> pro tip, don't continue to let them think that they're in a relationship with you. Yeah. Like, how do you not have checked a... out? How do you not, like, did he just leave, like, he did, so he told her, hey, I'm gonna go to California and do I'm a do job. this new job, yeah. Did they not have a conversation about being long distance? Did he think that was breaking up? And then yeah. she just was like, okay, we're long distance now, Actually, I guess. breaking up is when you just move away and don't talk to someone ever again without telling them that you've broken up. Did you know that? <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, I mean, and I, you know, she's pretty hung up on him, but, um, I think I can give her the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, because, you know, considering, fucking, um, you know, on her end, it doesn't seem like anything's wrong. And that would fuck me up. Yeah. After f if you just disappeared, I'd call the police, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would be like, oh, he fucking died. Yeah, right? Like, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he went out to California and he's dead now. He's not responding to anything. If you're like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to move to a different state. I'd be like, okay, I, yeah, I would think that we're long distance because we put fucking four years into this thing. Yeah, but... And then you're just like, no, I thought we were broken up. And you know what's funny actually, is like... when I drop you off for work, we actually break up because yeah, you're no and then you go, you're Bro, that would be <laughs> so funny. I mean, it would be terrible and it would soul crush me. But if you were like out fucking other bitches, because you thought every time we're not together... <laughs> if I don't we're see broken you, up, we're not in a relationship. I'm sure some people have like open relationships like that. Yeah, but like that's such a... <laughs> but yeah, the, the thing is you talk about it. Yeah with each other so it's it's understood i thought when you went to work you were just like you were just uh, like not into me anymore <laughs> i mean like maybe it's because i'm a woman but like 
I don't know. I've had it so drilled into my head that you need to make sure that everyone else understands what you're saying. Oh, I get Yeah. You know what I mean? I I, feel that, yeah. I have to do like extra emotion. And I probably do it too much emotional labor to explain what I am doing and how I am feeling to every single person I've ever met in my life. And it drives me fucking insane. Yeah. And to just imagine there are guys out there that just do whatever the fuck they want and let other people just like pick up the pieces is fucking crazy. Yeah, it's pretty fucking wild, That's honestly. That's insane, right? Like, imagine if you could just do that. Yeah, honestly, like, that's such a fucking, wow. like... Wow. This is such, like, weird scorched earth, but you still want to, like, water the plants somehow. <laughs> yeah. Like, like don't be fucking wishy-washy. Yeah. Tell her I hate you, bitch, just and commit. leave. Commit to it. Go to California, yeah. whatever. Like, yeah, you want to break up with your girlfriend for whatever stupid fucking reason. Yeah, like, Who come cares? on. Who like, cares? Go and do it. But, like, break up with her. Don't leave her hanging in the wind. Yeah, just, like, fucking... God, you were still so... texting her that whole time, and then... <laughs> And then you post a photo that's supposedly innocent with your coworker, and she freaks out, and you're like, "Ah, oh, better break up with my girlfriend." Yeah, that kind of means that it's not that innocent. It's not that isn't innocent. It? Yeah, if you're like, and also very funny that like she freaks out when you do it, and then you're like, "Why are you doing this? This is innocent." Yeah. When and at the same time you yeah. saw her have a friendship with a man, and you were like, "When obviously it probably wasn't innocent when you did it." And yeah. It was very innocent that sh- that when she did. Yeah. That's fucking right. She's a nurse, right? She's a goddamn nurse, yeah. We would need friends, I think, when you're a nurse. Otherwise, I think so, yeah. I would explode. <laughs> my brain would explode, probably. God. All the hard work that I'm doing, I don't have any friends because my as my boyfriend will let me be friends with a man. Yeah. Oh god. If I see you hanging out, if I see you touch another man, yeah. I'm applying for immediately video editing for jobs. Video editing but, jobs yeah. across the country and yeah. Alaska. <laughs> Yo, that'd be so funny if there was like a video editor strike and I was still like, hey, you, I gotta move to the, I gotta move right now. There's an opening. <laughs> so, I don't even, I'm so just scared. Just lying of, about like. This is like my worst nightmare. Like just crazy shit happening for no reason. Yeah. But also I feel like I, just in my life, I would come home and be like, eh, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, eh, what can you do? Gobble ghoul. Gobble ghoul. Yeah. yeah. God. But well, I, we haven't solved this guy's problem. <laughs> He want, how does he break? Um, how does he break up? How call does he, her a slur. Just ruin her as a yeah. Person. Just like yeah. scream at her over the phone, be really abusive. Yeah. Like and actually, maybe that would help her because now she knows you're an asshole. You know, right, she can yeah. move on. She doesn't think some nice guy left her for no reason. Yeah. And there's something wrong with her. Like really show that you're you're that someone you're a piece of not shit. to yeah, be messed you are with. A piece of shit. It's basically white fanging. You know yeah. what I mean? You're basically like get out of here, boy. Go <laughs> get. <laughs> I, I don't want to see. Yeah, I don't know. Like you're already like a yeah. rotten person. Like just commit. Yeah, you're just terrible. Fucking commit. You're rotten to the core. Yeah. So just do it. Fucking <laughs> listen to Free Fallen. It's the same thing. Listen to some petty. You know, fucking listen to some petty and go and break her little heart, man. God, I. <laughs> what a fucking what a moron. What a damn moron. <laughs> what a fucking moron. God. Mm. Deleted and removed comment. Damn it. God bless. God bless. Solved it. Solved it. We did solve it. Technically, we did solve it. <laughs> That's my yeah. advice. Am I the asshole for asking I pay less rent when my landlady locked me out of one of the rooms of the house? Ooh, okay. All right. I, 20 male, am currently at university. Because it's, ex- it's expensive and I struggled to find a student place, I rent a room off of Jane, 27 female. She's single and lives by herself, so it's just the two of us. The rent is decent, and before all of this, she was nice, so thought we had a good relationship. Jane is into a lot of nerdy stuff. She plays Dungeons and Dragons, Warhammer, and collects board games. It's a three-bedroom house, and the middle bedroom is a game room. I have the smallest, she has the biggest. It's got the board games and has the TV and console, which she lets me use. It that's was nice. That it, way, yeah, that's like... <laughs> what a nice lady. What a nice lady, yeah. This may be the one good landlord. Yeah. It was my it was my birthday last week and had some friends over. Jane works shifts, so she was out till late, but she's fine with other people over and it has been in the past, but is pretty shy. We decided we would play some board games and Jane has always said it's okay in the past and she's taught me a few of them and I really enjoy them. Anyway, the game got a little heated and it's pr- it's a pretty complicated game but really good. We were also pretty drunk and ended up ripping the game board. Ooh. 
we stopped after that and realized I kind of messed up. We put it away. Kind of. And just, you just did. You just did mess up. Sorry. You can't just half ass your way. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We put it away, just sat and drank and chatted for the rest of the night. Jane came back and said hi before going to bed. She looked really tired, so I didn't say anything, and friends were still there. I did talk to her the next day, and she was annoyed and asked me and my friends to pay to replace the game. I initially agreed, but then found out the game was like 120 pounds. Whoa, what and game I, was it? <laughs> and I can't afford that, so I said I was sorry, but no. But don't you have, you have friends, though, that also helped break the game? You could have all split it. She said fine, but then the next day she had her friend round and has now put a lock on the game room. She said she can't trust me in there anymore and that some of her games are miniatures and miniatures are too valuable for her to risk. Uh, yeah, that's fair. That's freaking expensive, yeah. No, for sure. The game room was one of the things I like about most about the place and where I used to spend most of my time now that I've basically been banished from it. I said to Jane I wasn't happy and that if she was going to kick me out of it, I should be paying less rent. She said no and said I was being unreasonable to ask and this was my own fault and that I'm entitled and uncaring which really hurt because I do care about her, but it was an accident and not entirely my fault. <laughs> That's how much she cares. You're still trying to shift as much blame on other people. Yeah. <laughs> now she just refuses to talk to me, which is a bit of an overreaction. I genuinely thought we got along well and hope to stay at hers next year, but don't think she'll renew or extend the contract now. She's just been horrible to me. And I still stand by that I should be paying less rent because I don't have access to all the authority of the amenities I used to, but can see why she's upset. So am I the asshole? Yeah. Yes. You destroyed her property. You destroyed her property and, and then it she expensive. protected it. Yeah. And you didn't pay for it. I don't know what the laws are in the UK, but if that shit was over five hundred dollars. You got, you got that's a case. like you got a case, yeah. Jesus. I wonder what the game was. I don't know. 120 quid. <laughs> the Stardew Valley. I'm gonna board look game. up board games that cost over a hundred dollars. Yeah. Quid. quid. Yeah. Well, it's probably double. Cards of Catan, uh, Tales of Catan, whatever it's called. Sailors of Catan. Sailors of Catan, yeah. It's got to be a complicated game that's over $120. Complicated game over $120. Or quid, sorry. It's, like, it's probably like fucking Warhammer or some shit. It's probably something we don't know. Probably something we don't know. We're, we're not, not board gamers. We're not that yeah. into board games. We're not fucking nerds. We could be. We, we could don't be. know people. Yeah, right, yeah. No. I do want to get the Stardew Valley board game. Okay, Dude, but that's beyond so the point. Fun. Yeah. So yeah, you broke someone. I don't know. I feel like- You broke if, someone's expensive equipment. We go and to then our, you're like, no, nah, I'm not gonna do this too expensive. We go to the gym in our land uh, 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 that we have here, even though it's like shitty. And I just start cutting all the the shit. Imagine going over to someone's house and just tearing apart their shit, yeah. and saying, "No, nah, I'm not gonna pay for it. Fuck you." That's your problem. <laughs> and even if it was one of his friends that did it, you're responsible for you're your responsible, friends. Responsible, yeah. At that point, yeah, you you're the one on the lease. It's like if it's you brought responsibility. your dog over to someone's house and then it attacks something and you know fucked up. Something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah pay for it. Yeah, yes. Uh, no, actually, my daughter did this, so you should go to her. You should steal her lunch money. It's like she's three. Yeah, How and we've already, already covered on school. this. <laughs> we've already covered this. Yeah. Three year olds can be manipulative. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Jesus, uh, what a fucking um. Dumb what little dummy. bitch. Yeah, <laughs> what a dumbass. Yeah, don't break shit. Yeah, get a lot of. How angry do you have to be? I know. In a board game, dude, and to I, like break the board in half. I used to do that when I was when I was a kid because I used to get really frustrated very easily, yeah. and I didn't know how to really handle my emotions. So like, I definitely have some very. And this is something that I actually deeply regret, like, still to this day. Really? Where, like, I would get really mad, and then I would, like, crush the card in my hands and shit. Oh, shit. You know? Yeah. Because I wasn't winning or something. Mm. But also, I was six. Or, like, 12 or something. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, yeah. You know? There's a, you're, you're, du you're a dumb I was either kid. six or I was an emotionally stunted 12-year-old. That's fair, yeah. I <laughs> yeah. get I get you. Because even know, at yeah. 12, that's, like, too old to do right? that. Right, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think you should, you should just be able to respect other people's shit. Yeah, you should learn that lesson yeah. by then. At some point, you know? It's, like, by uh, the time you're the releasing time you're out, yeah. Yeah, you're in college, probably. You should be able to respect other shit. Like, I don't know, man. If I just started punching holes in the wall of the yeah, land. Yeah, that would be a red fucking flag. And the, Yeah, that would be a red flag, yeah. yeah. But also, B, if the land was like, yeah, you're not getting your deposit back. Yeah, no shit. Like what the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> God, yeah, just don't. Yeah, just be respectful, man. 
Also, don't you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a line in the sand here. Mm. Don't fucking teach people complicated board games when they're drunk. When they're drunk, mm, yeah. Don't you know? You can play life. You know, I've been to board even game though nights. Life, even you know, life though sometimes. Yeah, because now life is very complicated. Remember that where it's like everybody's yeah. got a number. Everyone's got a number, and, and there's now betting, the number. and there's all this other bullshit. Yeah, God. Fuck. I don't know. Like, I feel like if you like, imagine it's like, oh wait, you're leasing out a place, and like, say you're playing Wii, uh-huh. and you're playing tennis, and you get so frustrated, you just you throw, throw the it Wii at the TV. At TV. You yeah. should probably pay for the TV. Yes, you should probably. I'm sure that happened many times. For sure, yeah. Enough that they had to say, please make sure you're using you the, the little strap. The strap. Yeah. God, I think we solved it though. I think so. Nice. That was terrible. That would hurt my arm. Actually, <laughs> am I the asshole? For taking a poop in the hotel bathroom. Why are you laughing? This is serious. Shut up. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> know, why, why, I was really excited for this one. Let's go. <laughs> this is so stupid. Is it? No way. <laughs> My 28 female friend, Jamie, 27 female, and I took a trip together recently. Mm-hmm. We shared a hotel room for the trip, and Jamie told me that she thinks it's disgusting and disrespectful to go number two in the hotel room bathroom. Jamie thinks that the hotel bathroom, when sharing it with other pe- of another person, should be used for number one only. I have some commentary on this, because I have met people like this. Really? Okay. Yes. Jamie requested that any number twos be taken in the lobby bathroom. I told Jamie that I'm a germaphobe and don't like pub- uh, public bathrooms, so I do- I'll do my best to make sure the hotel room bathroom doesn't smell. If I need to go number two, I'm not putting shoes on and hiking down to the lobby when there's a perfectly good fan in the b- room in the room bathroom. I'll even buy spray if needed. I realize the room bathroom is still probably not the cleanest, but in my mind, it's certainly less used than the lobby bathrooms, mm-hmm. and it's a bathroom. Their purpose is literally for going number one or two. Yes, for pooping. No, you only pee in toilets. No, you're joking. <laughs> there are people like this out there. God. And they're Trumpers. need to be executed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, After a bit of back and forth, we couldn't come to an agreement. Mm -hmm. She continues to go to the lobby to shit, and I couldn't... uh, They censored their own thing. They said, lobby to shh. Okay. Yeah. After a bit of back and forth, we couldn't come to an agreement. She continues to go to the lobby to shit, and I continue to use the hotel room bathroom. She isn't thrilled and thinks I'm being disrespectful. Again, I even offered to buy spray. Am I the asshole? This is so dumb, it's a bathroom. It's meant for going number two. I don't see how I'm being disrespectful. That's part of the territory when you share a hotel room to save money. You deal with shit like this, pun intended. Oh, nice. Edit. Mm -hmm. I should also add that I have been diagnosed with IBS and oftentimes barely make it to the bathroom. Okay. Let alone waiting on an elevator, running down the stairs to get there. I didn't tell Jamie that I have IBS because I don't feel like I should have to. And edit to, yes, we split costs down the middle, so we both paid 50-50. How you does did not that need, impact this, anything? The, both those edits don't mean shit to me. No. They don't. The fuck? You should... I mean, maybe the IBS means a little bit more. It means a little bit more, but it's, you, I agree with the idea that you don't have to tell that person if you're not comfortable. No, yeah, that's your medical information. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So... And if people who really hate to hear, like, our personal lives... You're gonna hate this episode because there's so many oh, things. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of things that relate to my pa- my personal lives, like very specific situations that I've been through. Yeah, that are fucking weird. Yeah, I feel that. That I don't know why they're coming up. Like it's kind of like a fucking thing. But it's the Sarah episode, guys. When I was in college, yeah, I shared a suite with two girls. So we weren't in the same room, but we were. They had the other suite, and they came to us and they told us. That, uh, you know, when we poop in the shared bathroom that was like tiny, that it smells. So what they were going to do is they started off by being like, OK, um, uh, you know, like what we're going to do is we're going to get spray and stuff. So they got spray and then we would use it, blah, blah, blah. And then also in the shower, they had issues about pretty much everything in the bathroom consistently mm. throughout the entire <laughs> the entire semester. That's about right. Yeah. Three months. I only had to live with them for three months. Yeah. They only had to deal with this for three months, okay? Okay. They hated that everyone had their shampoo stuff in the bath in the shower. And they wanted us to... They specifically bought me a shower caddy because they thought I was too poor to buy one. Um, <laughs> what? They made me put my stuff in it and told me that I needed to 
bring it in and take it out to keep the wow. bathroom clean. Now, also, this was a bougie ass college. I was, this was FSU, and they had maids come in and clean the bath. You didn't even need to clean Jesus. your bathroom. They hired cleaners. That's fucking crazy. To come in and specifically clean the shit for you. You did also have to, like, they didn't deep clean. So you did but have I mean, to deep clean. But, like, still, you have maids. Yeah, that's pretty fucking crazy. You usually don't have them in college. Usually you just live in shit. You know what I mean? So, anyway, eventually it became you're no longer allowed. Well, first it was, uh, if we can hear you pooping, that's terrible. And if we can hear you peeing, that's terrible. So turn on the shower while you're pooping and peeing that's so, so that we don't hear stupid. it. But then it was like, if you turn on the shower, we know that you're pooping and peeing. So basically, we couldn't use the bathroom. We had to go down the hallway to go to the other bathroom. I want to punch everyone in the face. Yeah, here. these are very specific. They were also Trumpers. They specifically volunteered for Donald Trump. This was during the election, the first election. They would watch the the uh, debates and they would scream at their television that Hillary was a lying bitch. Jesus Christ. They were best friends from their hometown and they both uh, rushed sororities and one didn't get in and the other one who was the mega bitch was like, oops, sorry about it. And then like, <laughs> I was like, fuck I wanna, you. I want to punch both of them in the face. Yeah, dude. they Holy both shit. sucked ass and I hope they're dead in a ditch somewhere actually. <laughs> but like, no, those specifically, I don't hate a lot of people. Actually, no, never mind. I do a lot. But um, people like that, that's who I hate, are people that are like, no pooping in the bathroom. In the shared bathrooms. How did you live? How do you live? You yeah. had to have been raised you gotta go, with money. You gotta go out to the forest and poop in a bucket. Like, you had to have been raised in a house that had multiple bathrooms, and one was the pooping bathroom, and one was the peeing bathroom. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. But also, doesn't that make the pooping bathroom worse? Yeah. That it's just pooping? Yeah. You know, thank goodness toilets don't have an invention that allow you to, like, get the poop out of the, the toilet. It actually yeah. just, style, just piles up. So you gotta buy a new toilet every every you know. And I gotta be honest, only white and people thankful, have this problem. And thank goodness. <laughs> and thank goodness also. Yeah. You can't. There's no such thing as toilet cleaner. No, you can't we just go in and clean your clean. toilet. We haven't. We, there's not even like a chemical that kills every single thing and yeah. like cell that it touches. Yeah. Which is ironic because uh, you know I I I remember that those Trumpers they really love that bleach. They really love injecting that bleach. Yeah, I hope they did that. Yeah. <laughs> no COVID if you're dead. That is true, and no shit if you're dead either. Well, actually, you pro you do shit your pants after you die. Then they're not going to heaven. Then you evacuate your bowels. That's not going <laughs> to happen. They're going to heaven. There's still Have sin. You ever There's still sin in them. <laughs> That's God washing all the sh all the sin out of your body. If you don't have mm -hmm. a colostomy bag on you, <laughs> yeah, you know, because as long as because if you mm -hmm. if you use the anus. That's sodomy. <laughs> you, should, you, should, you, you, gotta, you gotta burn. You're on a fucking roll right now, Thank dude. You, yeah. But yeah, no, I hate people like that. And if you're like that, you need to stop immediately and rethink what you're telling people. Yeah, honestly. You're telling them not to use the poop hole for poop. Yeah. You gotta have a, you gotta have a poop hole and a pee hole. I grew up in Georgia around people that had signs on their toilet that was if it's brown flush it down yeah if it's yellow let it mellow and, that's and they fucking, lived by that rule and that's based in red pill I agree with that I agree if it's yellow let it mellow brown flush it down it was, you know it, I mean they were hicks they were hicks no they were environmentalists <laughs> They, but they were environmentalists yeah. it's not, that's not why they were hicks they were hicks because they like probably did meth or something but yeah, like <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> i get you yeah. Fucking, no they also did that too and they're better than you <laughs> <laughs> that is fair yeah these these meth head hicks that i'm making up right now are better than you there's really try. she's actually suppressing all the times that in her in her mega mansion she yeah. actually had in my mega mansion i have to actually, run to the to the poop hole the down poop there hole down there yeah and the, the this is actually this is actually like um this is very yeah. you're very um and the help here. has a different bathroom yeah exactly so yeah but they only get one we don't get their diseases yeah exactly yeah and it's outside in a wooden outhouse yeah 
Ah, oh, man. Bro, bro, bro. 18, you know, 1800s London. Of d- diseases. And that's People the throwing thing. shit. That's the thing, too. It's like, um... And usually people from other countries, they'll come here and they'll be way more clean. Yeah. Like, and, you know, it's a, it's a stupid, racist, white supremacist uh, idea that people that are foreign, quote-unquote, are dirty, you know? Mm. And, um, you know, that's there's the stereotype for different types of uh, minorities here in America. But, like, honestly... White people were the dirtiest yeah. motherfuckers. Like no one knows this. No one fucking knows this. But like in Mesopotamia, they had um plumbing. Base. Nice. They did because they naturally knew how to use gravity to take the shit somewhere else. <laughs> and then white people just like forgot for like years during yeah, the Middle Ages. Eighteen hundreds. Throw shit out the window. Fuck it. Who knows what'll happen? No, legit. Yeah. And uh, that's the. And also, that's also. Sort of like a false uh, thing. It's like it, it, people knew how to bathe and people knew how to be clean and there were clean people. It was just the rich people. Yeah, exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? It was a class divide more often. Yeah. So the stories about the fucking dirty ass motherfuckers, it's not like, oh, in the past, everyone was dirty. It's that, no, mo- people know how to fucking bathe. Tribal nations knew how to bathe. They were probably very clean. Yeah. You know what I mean? I get you, yeah. <sighs> Damn. White supremacy and how it changes our aspects. And True. now little white little white bitches that love Trump are talking about how you can't poop in the poop can't hole. Can't poop in the poop hole. <laughs> no. It always comes back down to holes. 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 Hole theory. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> All right. Solved it. Solved it. Yeah. Got it. Damn, zero, damn. Dude, that's so fucked up. Am I the asshole for using the toilet? Yeah. No, you're not. Everybody totally poops. Huge asshole. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this. This one's a weird one. Oh, is okay. Am I the asshole for implying our friend's girlfriend is an irresponsible mother? Yes. <laughs> for letting him around her kid. Oh yeah, I think I I I saw this one. I just was against it because I'm like I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to bring up kids. My 31 female husband, 34, has a best friend Zach, 34, whom he has been friends with for about 15 years. For a little over a year, Zach has been dating Allie, who has a daughter, Sarah, who is six. You? Zach is a great guy. I love him like a brother. He's fun, loyal, kind, and a great friend and shouldn't be around kids. I'm joking. (laughs) (laughs) He's the worst, actually. He's great for partying and drinking (laughs) booze, but not good for raising kids. That's like not (laughs) not a reason that he shouldn't be around kids. However, Zach loves a good time. He loves to party, travel, and he likes having a li- as little responsibility as possible. <laughs> okay. He also isn't great with kids. He's a Disney uncle with their five-year-old daughter, but even that overwhelms him after a couple of days. And also doesn't explain what the fuck a yeah. Disney uncle is. The, I guess the Disney adult, but you happen to be an uncle. Like you take your, your friend's kids to Disney. Oh, uh, God. Now we have to, I'm going to have to fucking rant about Disney adults after this. Thanks, Sarah. I appreciate that. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have to. We don't have to I just have to. ask for terrible comments that ream us out yeah. <laughs> for being dicks. I know, I know. Zach came to visit us and brought with him Allie and Sarah, and immediately I picked up on the strange dynamic. Oh. Zach was kind to Sarah, but very <clears throat> hands off. Which is why he shouldn't be around <laughs> kids. Shouldn't be around kids, yeah. Uh, Zach was kind to Sarah, but very hands off, while Sarah clung to him. Sarah called Zach daddy several times, and every time both Zach and Allie gently corrected her. Mm. Everything she saw my husband do with our daughter, she would try to copy, and she would throw tantrums if Zach didn't pay attention to her or if Allie tried to discipline her. She was extremely jealous of any time Zach spent with our daughter and would act out in retaliation. I asked Zach if Allie was pushing him into a parental role. He said that Allie wasn't shopping for a father for Sarah and that she was totally fine that he didn't see himself being a father figure. He said he presumed Sarah would grow out of this phase. I left it at that. A couple of days after that, I was talking to Allie and she apologized for how Sarah had been acting 
and thanked us for being so patient. I said no need. It was obvious Sarah was going through a tough time working out the situation and that that is totally normal at that age. Uh, uh, I don't like this guy. I don't like how this is being written right now, honestly. Yeah. Allie asked what I meant, and I said Sarah's at an age where she probably understands a father is be where she probably understands a father as being the man who is with her mother and she is confused why that isn't the case for her <laughs> it, it, you know i didn't fully understand it the first time and now i'm reading again i'm like you're a bitch yeah like, that is so fucked up this is some 12 rules for life bullshit right yeah, now it yeah. really is uh have you considered the lobster <laughs> I'm gonna punch you. Just fucking try. <laughs> fucking try me. Allie got annoyed and said that she had explained everything to Sarah. I said plainly, that is not the case because Sarah keeps calling him dad and something about the way you have handled this is not coming across. I also said that she might do well to remember that as a mother, she is not only deciding who to let into her life, but her daughter's. Allie snapped that I obviously think mothers don't deserve to have a life and that I was horrible for calling her irresponsible while barely knowing her or her situation. She told Zach what I said and he got mad at me for causing issues in the relationship. He said I didn't need to make a big deal out of a childish phase and that I was rude and overreacting. Allie obviously thinks I'm the asshole. My husband defended me to Zach, but when they left, he said he thinks I maybe should have graciously accepted Allie's apology and left it there, since it's not our business. Zach is now not talking to me and has canceled the summer visit we'd had planned. Ooh. I hadn't apologized yet, but I'm thinking maybe I did overstep. <laughs> At least you're thinking about it. At least, like, you're mulling it over a little yeah. bit. Yeah. It's like, okay, listen, I don't know. I thought about not doing this because, like, I don't know. I don't know what to do in that parental situation when your dad isn't your isn't the person that's with your mom see see here's 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 can i, can I counter that yeah uh the op doesn't know what the fuck can do either exactly because it's know? like what you're supposed to not date yeah see i'm not yeah i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna like go against like fucking um uh whatever like the the other parent that's her life that's her business yeah her business if it fucks up her daughter this... that's her fault you know what yeah, i mean yeah you know yeah don't <laughs> Don't preemptively decide that someone else is already fucking up when without, you don't knowing, know. without anything, knowing anything. You yeah. seem like you you've hung out with the daughter and your husband's best friend and his girlfriend for like three hours, and you immediately were like, "I know exactly everything that happened." Damn, bro, you're gonna that 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 daughter ain't gonna grow up right. <laughs> if you keep going, getting called dad. <laughs> oh yeah, how bad are the comments? How bad? How bad are we talking? Okay, this is on Am I the Devil, so I don't know. I'm going to read it. I don't know if I fully agree with it, because sometimes they go really hard. Yeah, no, I get you. Okay. Okay, I'm already in the mood to knock heads with this absolute... When this absolute moron comes in with, he's a Disney uncle. That is not a fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I just said... I, I don't I agree with this. this. Golf I don't agree with this. Not golf a fucking, fucking sport. sport. <laughs> I don't agree with that. I'm going to I'm gonna have to go into it. Okay, okay fine. Yeah. That is not a fucking thing. Woman, I swear to God, that is not his child. Why the fuck should he take care of your young... Of your little booger eater for more than a few hours, let alone days? Stop projecting your husband's parenting shortcomings onto another <sighs> childless person. Ooh. I don't even want to read further, but I will and amend this as necessary. Oh my God, I'm already so angry. Edit to add. Yeah, no, throw the whole person out. Original OP is, is Basura. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. I'm going to Google it. Google it. Google it. I never. Google I it. didn't even think that. But yeah, she's dropping off her kids at this guy's thing, which I'm like, if he's okay with it, whatever. But yeah. if he's like not cool with kids, why judge him and think he can never be a dad? That's also, yeah, like you're already preemptively deciding that someone else can't is never because they now currently like to, quote, have fun or like they're wild. Doesn't mean they'll ever cool down. God. Quote unquote, again, quoting here because I fucking I don't know. I really fucking hate people like this that think, oh, this is how that person is forever. Forever, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I met a person Yo, at my job recently that was like, that told me I was very quiet and then also, I think, continued to judge me because I'm quiet. And I'm like, you haven't seen my fucking podcast. I talk for three hours at least every yeah. week. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah I want to shut the fuck up in between. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? I'm saving all my words for the weekend. Exactly, yeah. So, I mean, you know, and I think a lot of people 
sometimes judge me on that, and mm. it just kind of really fucking pisses me off, I man. Feel, no, I totally get that. You don't know a sh- damn thing about me, and that's happened to me my whole life. So fucking shut up. <laughs> you nah. shut up. Total judge. The guy judge. God judge you based yeah. on one thing. <laughs> based on one thing. So it's a, you came here already choosing violence, and I respect that. <laughs> God, I don't know. Like, I yeah, I really just don't think you should. I don't know. This is definitely like just women fighting women about like how she's like having. I don't know. I feel like um, I don't know. Like you just have a you have a daughter that doesn't know exactly what's going on, and your immediate reaction is someone's fucking up. Yeah. Which, that's not happening. I operate on the assumption that I don't know. I assume everyone is a multitude. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's a that's a protection thing. You don't know if the person you know for 10 years is going to just show up and murder someone, or is just going to up and leave and go to California and think that you're broken up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you don't know if the person that you think is a fuck up is actually a good you know, parent or something. Yeah, exactly. You don't know. I don't know. Especially when I'm reading these stories about other people. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I'll never know who these I'm, people are. Yeah. I'm getting a, a point of view from one person who from is a, not a from, reliable narrator. Yeah. So uh, that's what I assume. I don't know if this guy actually wants to be a dad or if or whatever. I think if he's not, then it is kind of fucked up that he's he's dating this lady. With a kid. With yeah. a kid. But and getting involved with the daughters. It's not my yeah. damn business. Yeah. And it's not your business either. It's not anybody's business. Exactly. Let's all just chill out. Damn. Fuck. Go home. Your life must be so boring. Yeah, if you're like trying to find gossip in other people's Worry. non-issues. Yeah, fuck. I yeah. mean, I know that's kind of what this show is, is going through this shit and trying to find yeah, gossip. And Ooh. yeah, some, but I mean like real gossip. Not just like some guys dating a single mom. That's Whoa. stupid. Whoa. Whoa. Single mother? Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Bro, bro she had a kid bro. and yeah. doesn't have a partner? Oh my what? what? Oh my god. Stupid. That's dumb, yeah. That's dumb. Fuck that shit. We're above that. We're above that. We're about leaving your partner. <laughs> <laughs> we're above, we're, 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 yeah. we're about leaving your partner for six months in a different state and then just assuming yeah, that right? you're fucking... God, because I'm an adult. Yes. Yeah. We're adults here. We're adults. And there's a show called Barry that we like. That we really like. Yeah. And I'm going to read Starkit's Prophecy because I want to. Yeah, you want to. It's all about you. <laughs> Just start throwing shit. Okay, but it's all We're so it. mature. Yeah, I'm so mature. I'm the most mature. We're both so mature, dude. Yeah, exactly. We mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Am I the asshole for not reacting well to the way my wife announced her pregnancy? Yeah. So apparently, my twenty male 25, wife, female 24, took pregnancy announcement inspirations from TikTok videos and decided to stick her pregnancy test in my ice cream. What? Okay, you're really challenging me with this one here because yeah. it's got ice cream involved yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I sensed there was something from the way she was looking at me when handing me the ice cream. When I got to the pregnancy test, it was covered in ice cream. I kept asking what it was, and she just told me to just lick it away. And Ew, I did. Ew, what? I was shocked, but before I got to react, her sister yelled, She just got you to lick her piss. And I thought the pregnancy test was a prank to get me to lick it. You okay, Sarah? You okay? Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? I dropped it in the ice cream tube. This is a tub. fetish. I, she is a fetish. I dropped it in the ice cream tub, and apparently I looked <gasps> disgusted. They explained right away that it was washed, so we celebrated, and I totally forgot about it. So it was washed. Pregnancy test was washed. It is still a little weird. I'm, I'm, I'm going to save you that for later. But you pissed on it. I don't know, man. I don't know about that. (laughs) Later, when most people left, her friend confronted me, saying I shouldn't have reacted that way and how it wasn't even something to be discussed. Fucking shut up. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. He dropped it in the 
hub of the whole tub. The whole tub, now yeah. Now he has to go back to Walmart, <laughs> and they're going to be like, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have the, the ice cream flavor that you want, so fuck you. And he's like, okay, fine, I guess I'll go to Publix and get a different one. And then he goes and he gets it, and it's not the same. It's not the same. It's too sugary. Because <laughs> they put fucking caramel in it, and you're like, it's not supposed to have it. Fuck. This bitch ruined my whole ice cream. <laughs> Fucking shit. We went to public today. <laughs> no, that happens to me every time I order my fucking ice cream from Walmart. They're like, we don't have it because everyone else knows this ice cream is dope. And I'm like, fucking shit. <laughs> All right, okay. So, okay, I shouldn't have reacted that way and how it wasn't even something to be discussed at Shut of. the fuck up. With my wife, they questioned my ability to be available for her during labor when someone, <laughs> something as small as that disgusted me. I tried to explain how these were two different, completely different things. <laughs> I can't hear you, Sarah. Who cares? I don't argue much after that. I didn't argue much after that because I didn't want to offend her. But I'm curious to know is what I did what I is what I did was really that as bad as they made it seem. You know, if someone said to me I, I just she just got you to lick her piss, I would probably also be disgusted. I want to throw punches right yeah. now. <laughs> I'm so mad. This is crimes against ice cream. You're bullies. You're fucking bullies. <laughs> This man thought he was going to get a delicious sweet treat, and then you just threw, like, so much news at him, and then he freaked out, and then you went, you know, oh, I don't think you're going to be a good father. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! Bro, bro, you know what? TikTok, you know, I think TikTok should be banned. <laughs> if, we're, if this is what we're doing, if this is what we're fucking doing. If anything, it means she's a bad mother. Because she can't fucking communicate that she's pregnant. And she, she doesn't to... fucking respect you. <laughs> yeah. She's like, hey, I want to put this pregnant stuff in the ice cream. It's like the the fucking the dumbass bitches uh, that were that would on Valentine's Day like, I'm pregnant. Or like uh, April Fool's Day, they're like, I'm pregnant. Oh my God. And then like the guy freaks out and then they're like, actually, I'm not pregnant. But why did you react that way? <laughs> like, shut up. Uh, other people have feelings too. <laughs> they are born with a brain and a fucking soul, if you believe in that shit, and they fucking exist as well. It's not just everyone's doing, like, everyone's here to satisfy you. Oh my god. Why are you looking like that? Why look do you that. look like that? Shut the fuck up. You're giving someone a Kit Kat and then saying, hey, you this Kit Kat's poison. What? <laughs> nah, oh, why did you, it's not poison. Why the fuck would you <laughs> think that? <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> I don't know why. And when I would you... buy a gun and I would shoot you to death. <laughs> <laughs> I would shoot you to death and I would know I took out one less when demon. You, when you girl one boss and demon in the world. a little too much. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> This is a series of people Sarah hates this episode. Yeah, the episode. A list of people Sarah hates. If you're ever like, oh man, does Sarah hate me? It's either, do you poop in the toilet? <laughs> yes, you're, you're fine. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Will you fucking, or do you gaslight people? No. no. You're fine. You're bad. You're That's bad. it. Yeah. yeah. Don't fuck with a fucking man's ice cream. Yeah. Jesus. Anyone's ice cream, dude. Anyone. Jesus. Me. I'm using men in the general <laughs> men, sense. Me. I am men. Me. Well, you know, like men. Yeah, I know. Mankind. I yeah. Fuck. I think, you know, it really, it reminds me of like, uh, it, it would be really like, it reminds me of like when people do the gender reveal thing and then they cause like a, a wildfire. Yeah. And they're like, what the fuck? Why, why, are, why, 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 why are I in trouble? Why am I in trouble with the police? <laughs> why? What did I do what wrong? What the fuck? Why am I in jail for 20 years? <laughs> why am I getting stabbed in jail? It's because you're a fucking a word I can't say on YouTube. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> There's a pecking order in prison, and you're just above child. And it's people that fuck with each other's ice cream is yeah. underneath child molesters. Child molesters. People who fuck with other ice cream. She lasted two minutes in prison. Everybody ganged up on her and shanked her at once. Yeah. 
They didn't even multiple shake. It was just one time and she had 47 stabs to the chest. God. <laughs> Fucking wild, man. And Why? if you're like, Sarah, that's a little over. No, I'm correct. You're wrong. I'm who, right. Who did that on TikTok? I want to know. I want to know who did Some that. Some fucking idiot. Yeah. I want to know. I want I want names. And I they want... were probably just like, here, give him a bowl of ice cream and like put the thing in there and then be like, oh yeah, he'll get you different ice cream, you know? Yeah. They probably weren't like, lick it off. <laughs> lick it off. Or is someone out there like, Lick fucking... it up and down right now. Do it. Disgusting. <laughs> or is someone out there like, make sure he licks the piss off. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure uh, that's a piss? fucking fetish and that's sexual assault. Yeah. Forcing people and to also, be a part of your fetishes also, without telling them is assault. And also because the sister was in on it, it's also incestuous. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you should go to prison. <laughs> God. Oh my God. Solved it. Can't believe there are people out there like that. Yeah. Pregnancy, that was uh, perfectly good. Pregnancy, ice cream. pregnancy reveal idea, dude. The food waste. <laughs> Fuck you. You go to you go to um Habitat for Humanity. Oh and, yeah, and the they would never step the <laughs> anywhere near a Habitat for Humanity thing. You go to oh okay here's here's an idea here's an idea. You go to uh, you your boyfriend was that works. ice cream also stolen from a baby <laughs> yeah, evil was, fucking yeah. monster. You, you, your boyfriend's a cashier, so what you do. Is you um you mm -hmm. get a bunch of items and then you put the the still wet pregnancy test on the conveyor belt and then you make him grab it and try to scan it and he looks at it stabbing like, your boyfriend <laughs> being like why are you upset that I'm stabbing you you should be happy that I'm spending and your time with like, you what the fuck is this and no. you're like I'm pregnant I just did that now and then he's like ugh and then she's like you're, you're gonna be happy. a you're gonna be a bad father yeah. I'm morally <laughs> judging you morally I'm on a higher level than you. And that then, you know what, if you do that shit to me, if I was born a man and this happened yeah. to me, I don't even care. I don't know. If someone came to me and said, oh, I'm pregnant, here's a fucking thing. And I was like, oh. And then they were like, oh, yeah, I just took that. I was like, oh, I don't want to touch your piss. And then they were like, you're a bad person for doing that? I'd be like, okay. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, I'm a bad person as I put on my boxing glove. <laughs> I'm like, you know what else bad people do? Assault. And I'm going <laughs> to fucking hit you. <laughs> and I'm going to prison God. for murder. <laughs> Off topic. This that just reminded me of the wise kids you know sketch, mm -hmm. where it's the couple and they're like they're like, oh, we're finally excited. We're gonna you know see what our pregnancy is. And then she she pulls it up and is like, I don't get it. And then he's like, my iPod Nano. <laughs> you just peed on my iPod Nano. <laughs> and wasn't that his ex girlfriend? I think it was. Think yeah. It was. <laughs> oh God. That's all right, let's get away from. Okay, let's let's move All right, on. Let's move on. Hot take: School should legally be allowed to use pepper spray to break up fights oh. slash assaults. That is a hot take. This is from our slash teachers. We're That's getting a, a little. We're going a little out of the out of the. Yeah, dude, we're getting a little spicy on this one. Is this hot ones? <laughs> I wish I was eating wings right now. <laughs> this mainly applies to high schools, where a lot of the students tend to be the same size or bigger than the teachers slash administrators. There are two reasons for this. IMO. A keeps everyone safe. Everyone. Yeah, but keeps by pepper, everyone safe. Yeah. Oh, except for the people that get pepper spray. Yeah, except for all the children being pepper yeah. sprayed. Keeps everyone safe. No more having to physically intervene and risk your parentheses or other adults' safety along with ending the fight sooner. Real cops don't break up fights with their own bodies on the line, but we somehow expect teachers to. Uh, I didn't yeah, think we actually, expect teachers to. Actually. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. You know, actually, yeah, we should take a lesson from Because if we cops. did, every teacher failed at their duty at yeah. my high school. I will say, yeah. So are you saying that teachers should also have guns to shoot down students when they're in the middle of a fight? Is that what you're saying? If that's what it seems like they're saying. Is that what you're saying, teacher? Uh, cops don't do this. They actually have Hot stun take. guns. We should be allowed to shoot children on sight. <laughs> on sight, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's teachers in Florida. Okay, that makes sense. But Josh, B... Okay, B, there's another reason B, here. Hold on. This would prevent more fights. If How? every fight ends with the two perp uh, perpetrators involved getting pepper sprayed, then I could see less students <laughs> looking to fight when that becomes a part of the risk factor. No. <laughs> you know, this is going to be a wild thing. Do you know that even though you could get the death penalty yeah. or life in prison for murdering? People still murder. Yeah. Listen, and fighting is not on the same 
<laughs> no, it level. isn't. No. But the the want to hurt someone is never going to go away. It's never going to go away. No. And you should do your best to mitigate <sighs> it before someone wants to hurt someone. Yeah. Obviously, there would be some training and protocols to using pepper spray, but nonetheless, I think it may be a plausible solution to addressing violence in schools without having teachers risk their own safety. No. You shouldn't be allowed to do that, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw a line. Yeah. My school pepper sprayed some students that were in a fight. How'd it go? <laughs> it really worked out <laughs> well. Um, no, so we had a, an open cafeteria plan, so everybody would be in the inside and outside of the cafeteria. Yeah. These two girls started fighting, because I went to a public high school where it mixed like the rich kids area with uh, the poor kids area. Um, Pine Hills in Orlando is called Crime Hills because they think like that's the ghetto and it's like it's it's not a ghetto but it, in terms of other ghettos but it's like the bad area of Orlando yeah and that's where the kids went to school they went to my high school Edgewater High School and it got fucking pepper sprayed and there's an article about it <laughs> somewhere I think it was the Orlando Sentinel that fucking rag <laughs> and um it got <laughs> This fucking stupid ass motherfucker security guard ass guy that I fucking hated who wore Ray Bans and walked around and probably fucking voted for Trump took out his pepper spray and was like, I know how to fix this and pepper sprayed both the girls. Didn't realize there were 200 other students in the cafeteria and he pepper sprayed 200 children. The school was shut down for four hours. Three to four hours. Past the time when we were supposed to go home. <laughs> because they had to lock down the school. Yeah. Because pepper spray gets into the vent system. It gets in, in into all the open air. It rides on the airwaves throughout the area. So every single human being in that building, which was the main building, was pepper sprayed. And imagine and that's why it's also a good deterrent because everyone gets hurt. So they all know. So they all know. Everyone knows. Everybody, imagine if you're um, asthmatic. Oh, yeah, you're fucked. There are some times when people get pepper sprayed on accident that they have to go to the ER. And they might just be like fucking eating. They might have just been fucking eating. I don't remember if anyone went to the ER because it was a long time ago. But Bro. yeah. Maybe you shouldn't the pepper spray children. Kids gets in a fight that he didn't even start. Maybe he's not even. Maybe he's just around. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking fights in schools that happen. And they're this, just like around. This teacher's you. just like, it's my time to shine. It's my time to, it's shine. Time to shine. fucking shine. Now I know what to do. And no, I've you never. Know, I've been around so many goddamn fights in high school. And I mean, I don't know. I didn't even really think there was anything wrong with the people that were fighting. It was just like. That was the culture of what happened, you yeah. know? Kids got into fights because they would get into arguments and that they would be stupid and they would fight. Yeah. And you know what? Kids would get, like, fucking... Someone else commented, like, they were at a, at a high school where kids would fight and they would get arrested and they would still fight. There's nothing that's going to <laughs> yeah, stop, them, like from stop them from fighting. Yeah. There's nothing. God. <laughs> What what fucking God damn God everyone has to be you know fucking John Wayne you know what I mean I think everyone should should have should witness at least one fight in high school <laughs> yeah it would put a lot of people it would really give a lot of people perspective because mm. these the fights were stupid <laughs> the fights are dumb yeah like fucking just like imagine like a big old lanky teenager just like swinging it's fucking hilarious. It's not a big deal. Yeah. It is it is a big deal because they could get very seriously injured as an adult. It's my adult shit get it, kicking in. But, like, also, like, fucking kids are going to fight and they're going to be stupid and they're going to get hurt. I get you, yeah. And no teacher would ever get into the middle of a fight. No, yeah, no, of course not. That's really dumb. Well, yeah, because I have peppers right now. <laughs> so we solved it. Yeah, we, we solved, solved it. it. We solved it by making every, every teacher should have a gun. Yeah. Pepper spray, handcuffs, mm -hmm. um, no books, no books. Um, 
bats, taser. Yeah, for sure. The 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 definite answer to violence is defunding education and yes. giving everyone weapons. That's true. I've learned that from every. Yeah. Uh, I learned that actually. Um, from uh, uh, city skylines is when you get rid yeah. of all the schools, all the crime goes down. Actually. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. yeah. You know, actually, crime and poverty not linked. Nope. <laughs> not even. Not even. Crime, poverty, education levels, not linked Nothing's at all. Nothing's linked there. There's nope. no correlation or causation. None. Actually. You hear about this Trump guy? He seems really cool. Yeah, I really, he's going to make America he's great make again. America great again, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you should, you have to have two different bathrooms, one for poop and one for peeing. People live in a fucking fantasy world, yeah, man. Yeah, they really do. Wow. Solved it. Maybe. Is the absolute lack of kindness and empathy for anyone who looks different from you? Yeah, you dehumanizing know. them, calling them perpetrators, rather than actually investigating why they feel the need to fight. Yeah, like just crazy, man. That's your job. Nah, it's not just to tell them their times tables. <laughs> you should get paid more, but you, you should also get shouldn't more, fucking yeah. pepper spray them. Yeah, damn, damn. Anyway, Damn. all right. Whatever. Anyway, yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. Fucking ready for this one? Yeah. No. Uh, I'm gonna say that one for last. Actually, all right. Am I the asshole for ruining my brother's conference? I don't know. My male 33 younger brother, male 27, has been working on getting his PhD in microbiology for the past three years. Bro was invited to present at a pretty prestigious health confer conference in the city me and him both live in. Mm. He lives alone about 10 minutes drive away while I live with my wife, female 33. As my wife and I also work in healthcare, we were also invited to attend. Mm. My brother was super nervous to present there and wanted to go there very, very early. Since I knew me and my wife were also be going, I all insisted that we give him a ride. He reluctantly agreed and canceled his Uber. The morning of, I wanted to go with my brother la later than we agreed to meet. This is because I thought that if he showed up so early, he would just be nervous as there wouldn't be anything for him to do after he set up. Okay. My wife wanted us to go to my brother at the time we originally agreed to meet and told me that my line of thinking made, quote, no sense and would, quote, only stress him more. Oh, okay. I didn't want to argue with her, so instead, took, I took extra time getting ready. As we were leaving, he called me and sounded super impatient asking where I was. I said I'd be there soon. Unfortunately, traffic slowed us down a little bit. We arrived at my brother's apartment around 20 minutes after the call with him already waiting outside. He just got into the car and didn't say much the entire trip, making the whole ride awkward. Okay. When we got to the conference, brother didn't thank me for the ride and instead said he had to rush to set up with his supervisor. Over the course of the conference, uh, my wife kept saying I should apologize to my brother if I see him, but I told her that it wasn't necessary as he never holds grudges. What? After the conference concluded, he texted me saying he wasn't feeling well and decided to go home instead of waiting for us and catching a ride with us back. He also told me that his supervisor chewed him out for being late, and I felt that I was a bit dramatic and backhanded. I asked him if he wanted to have dinner with us, but he declined. Am I the asshole? Yeah. There are four edits. Oh my god. The... <laughs> I hope one of them was like, guys, okay, I know, I'm an asshole, I guess. You wish. Yeah. <laughs> you wish. Those are my favorite ones. Edit one. I tried calling him this morning, but he hasn't returned any of my calls. He did, however, pick up when my wife called as she wanted to check in on him. I understand that he may be offended, but, but he, doesn't he share a degree of responsibility when it comes to setting things right? Why? Why would he have that? That doesn't make any sense. Edit two. Okay. Got off the phone with my mother, female 59. She told me that she'd cut off all contact with me if I didn't apologize ASAP. And even if I did, she may still cut off contact if my brother doesn't think that apology is, quote, good enough. She didn't want wait for me to explain myself and instead hung up once she finished. Finished. She hasn't been answering my call since. Damn. Edit three. I texted my brother saying, sorry to inconvenience you yesterday, I meant to be helpful. Since I sent it on WhatsApp, I saw he read the message, but only responded two hours afterwards. I did think it was a little strange that he took such a such long time to respond. His response was just, quote, it's okay. I talked to him a while after on the phone. He was pretty quiet most of the call, but did say he accepted my apology. Edit four. For those wondering, I'm an anesthesiologist. 
So the notion that I'm jealous of him <laughs> is baseless. <laughs> Anesthesiologists are, I mean, listen, Wait, I'm not judging. On, Never mind, on. I'm not going to judge because I'm going to get some people in the this. comments. I want to state this. Uh-huh. Okay, so OP has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the asshole. One, making my brother a little late for a conference. Two, his supervisor was upset he was late. It's not so, it's not that he also was like, I'm gonna purposefully be late. Be late by saying by getting late by being late getting ready and taking extra time on that. It's not that my, I went against both my wife and my brother to make sure that I was late. It's not that everyone else told me to do something else and I decided to do what I wanted instead. Yeah. But it's like he doesn't even not know why he's upset. And he does recognize that he is upset because he continues to say, but he can't he's see that really his quiet. own actions. I don't know, I don't know. He just thinks he should fucking get over it, which is the worst part to me. Yeah. And it's really, it really, I, I like the idea that like, just because he's an anesthesiologist, that's why people are thinking he's jealous. It's because you have a younger brother that's going to get a PhD and was asked to speak at the conference yeah. that you were also invited to. Yeah. But you weren't, you're not, you're not, you're, you're fucking not a nobody. You're, you're, you're just a, a fucking anesthesiologist. Yeah. So you decided, <laughs> hey, fuck it. I'm just I'm gonna, gonna fuck up my brother on purpose. Listen, and your mom is ready to cut you off. Uh, yeah. Cause that, that also says to me, not the first time something similar no, like this has happened. Yeah. Like, you almost fucked up this I guy's thought, conference. Like, I even thought it was a little severe. I was like, what the fuck? But I was like, probably he's done other shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, damn. Okay, I work in entertainment, right? Mm-hmm. And it's, it's similar enough. There's one rule mm-hmm. in entertainment. And I'm yeah. going to put conferences, like, under this rule. Mm-hmm. Uh, early is on time, and on time is late. Yeah. And late is you're fired. Late is you're fired. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's simple enough. Because because you're you're at a live event. <laughs> okay, imagine. Okay, you're you're a band. Yeah, and you're 20 minutes late for sound check. You wouldn't be performing that night. <laughs> well, it you depends on be, your name. It depends on your name. Yeah, but if you're Kanye's like, done shit where he's two hours late. That's true. But okay, but I mean, okay, you're a small band. You yeah, gotta, you, you wouldn't gotta, be yeah, performing. You, yeah. You'd be cut. But like, you know, okay, you're a PA on set. Mm-hmm. You're you're even like um like you're maybe like even like uh uh like underneath like a director. Like maybe you're like script supervisor. Yeah. If you're twenty minutes late, you're they already replaced you. Y- you're disposable. You're gone. You're disposable. Yeah. yeah. Like Jesus. Yeah. Like Christ, man. Not only that too. Conferences have usually have like very tight schedules. Knowing from like like uh what is it like. I think even even regardless of the late thing, yeah, he said, I want to get there at this time. And you heard that and said, ah, 20 minutes later. You know what I mean? Like, that's not listening, right? And it's not even like you just wanted to sleep in. You got it up at the same you got time. Up. You could have left. You just decided to take longer. To get ready, yeah. Purposefully. To, because you thought that he would set up in a quicker amount of time. Because as we all know, a conference is just laptop. And PowerPoint. <laughs> God. That. Oh. So, okay. As a person who's done auditions. Ooh, okay. And like performances. There's an there's a phrase which is like, if they're vibing you, cut them off. And it's like literally anyone. And it's for the day, you know? Yeah. So like, say you have a big audition and your sister is being a little shit. And it's so common that I was taught this in music school. Like, hey, your sister is like being like, meh, you have an audition today. Yeah. Tell her to fuck off. Tell her to fuck off. Actually yeah. tell her to fuck off and get yourself there. Because yeah. any vibe, any weird, like somebody wants to bring you down, crabs in Straight a bucket up. shit that's yeah. gonna happen. Like if I ask someone to do it and they're even like five minutes late, I'm Blinders. calling an Uber. Yeah. Like, Blinder. Yeah. Yeah. If it's Jesus. that important, get get yourself there. Like have like you have to make it so that you only rely on yourself, and it's toxic and it's and it terrible. Sucks, yeah, but that's the thing. That's what you have to do because other you know job yeah. interview, same thing. Yeah, exactly. you're nervous for something and you have anxiety. You have to do it yourself, and he's probably never going to trust you ever again. <laughs> oh no, of course not. No, Nike, yeah. God, fucking! I used to like play sit- sh- situations like for my mom, 
And my mom would be like, you think that sounds good? <laughs> Cut her off. For no yeah. reason other Fuck than off. just to vibe me. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's so shitty. Literally, ugh. God. And people will do that. Yeah. Even people that aren't abusive. Yeah, they'll still do something to fuck up. Because they don't know shit about you, you know? They don't know shit about, like... They're just jealous that you have a big thing. Yeah. And I want to I wanna belittle you for that. Exactly. Yeah. How, how, how can you be younger than me and more successful? Exactly. Yeah. I want to ruin you. Yeah. Because I have to be better than you. Exactly, yeah. And it's fucking... It doesn't matter if you're 13, if you're 35, if you're a man if you're a woman it doesn't really matter white black it doesn't care it, it, gay straight <laughs> everyone wants to bring you down when you have like a big thing yeah the amount of times we've been like oh yeah our podcast is going really well and then people will be like i should start a podcast oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah because oh, they yeah. think they're better than yeah. you so if you must be successful they must be even more successful yeah and it's just as like it's so obvious. It's so fucking obvious. It's so plain. Dude, stra- uh, I can't, I can't. Uh, ah. It happens so often. It happens a lot. And it happens more often when you're someone who performs a lot. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. God. And also, it happens, uh, like, I don't know, I work, I, I, mm-hmm. straight, I, I work with people that, I, I didn't, I, I think maybe, like, three months in, I started, I talked about, like, maybe, like, within the first month or two, I said I had a podcast, but I didn't write, I wasn't showing up that much, so people would, like, forget that I had a podcast, because mm-hmm. they don't fucking care, right? You yeah. know, I only just met them for, like, a week, you You're know? You're on call, so you don't have call, to be I there every day. I call out a bunch, day. because I, I can't, I, at, this, at the beginning, I wasn't able to handle the, the stress. It's manual labor. Yeah, the so. manual labor. Yeah. Uh, but I, I go on a little bit more frequently, like, for sure, almost every week, at least once. Mm-hmm. And like around three months in, I think people got the idea that I had a podcast. And mm-hmm. then I started saying, oh, yeah, like we're starting to blow up now. Mm-hmm. And like, I think before I started working there, I think we weren't even at 100,000. I think that happened while I was working there. Oh, maybe. and wow. we also probably we also just reached like 150,000 on TikTok. Right. Yeah. And I was I was telling some people like, yeah, like, you know, yeah, like the, t- the it's doing us, you know, doing well. Mm-hmm. And this was like when I said, like, we were earning 100 bucks a month, you know, yeah. and then. Um, like a week or two later, I hear them going like, "Oh, we gotta do a podcast." Yeah, but it's not with me. No, it's with, it's three, with it's each like other. It's each other. Yeah, and and in my head, I'm like, "Okay, have a podcast. You have go a and, hobby. Go ahead and do it. Do it. That's do it, what yeah. I always say. I'm like, you should. Yeah, it's really fun. It is fun. You absolutely should. And then we'll see if you keep doing it. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. straight up, yo, fucking. <laughs> I it, I think it takes maybe, and this isn't a lot of time, yeah. but over the course of like two days, it takes about 10 hours a, a day or not a day, 10 hours total Yeah, of it, between setting up, recording, I, compared editing. Compared to working full time. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy. It's easier. Sure. It's still work though. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's also, I feel like a lot more stressful when literally you're the only like when you or it's only me and you, like mm-hmm. we're the only two points of contact for this product. Yeah. And also, so everything comes down, everything comes down to both of us. Yeah. Well, I mean, to me, I have a little, I mean, I'm controlling. So that to me is awesome because if I had to hire another person and they were out there DMing people. Oh, yeah. And they were saying crazy shit. I would freak the fuck out. Yeah, true. (laughs) Freak out. So I don't know. I definitely need to be uh, hands on with this shit. Yeah. So I don't know. Like, yeah, it's like a double edged sword. Because, yeah, it's a lot of work on both of us. Yeah. And, like, you know. More like, on you, but, you know, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I, I spend about 10 hours a week on the weekend. And then throughout the week, it can be anywhere from, like, 30 minutes to an hour to make a three-minute TikTok. Yeah, which, I mean, doesn't sound like a lot. But what we're saying is we don't have weekends. Yeah, we don't have weekends. We just don't. Because I still have to go into work. And I still have to go into work. Yeah. And I also have school. And you also have your other job. Yeah, exactly. As well and I as video edit too. I have two different jobs as well as this podcast. Yeah. So yeah. Basically, you're just like uh, you. You don't have a social life. I forget to text people so many times because of this podcast. <laughs> yeah. No. Legit. You know. And like I don't know. I definitely have a lot more free time now, like comparatively. But like. But for a little bit, we were working our fucking asses yeah, off. Yeah. Especially when like the um the Reddit shit really popped off. And we were taking like mental health breaks every two weeks because it would, was such a big deal. Yeah. And then people would get on our ass about it. Yeah. 
And I think now, like, a lot of people are, like, fine with it, you know? Well, we also don't have to take as many because I can go part-time now and we, yeah. I have more time. and Exactly. And know. now we have more time to do this. And, like, if I quit my job, I would probably put way more fucking time into this. And we would like, probably make, see results. And we'd see a lot more results. Yeah. Like, so, I don't know. I'm, like, grateful for this. But also, like, I really, it does feel belittling. And when I go to my parents, like, they finally. <laughs> yeah, they still don't they really don't think this it. is a thing. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you know, it, it literally, I think I would have to say because of the podcast and this will be like years down the line if mm -hmm. we're lucky mm -hmm. again i think we're still not like completely lucky we're not out of the woods yeah but if i'm like if i'm like in 10 years i can tell them hey i got the we got yeah. we're buying a house because of the podcast yeah exactly that then, would have then to be it's the gonna thing. click in their mind but that's gonna be after like after i quit the job yeah, we're They're both gonna, gonna be, be working. Like, we're at some point. We're both gonna be working full time and making money with this podcast and paying rent. Yeah, and your still family gonna be is like, still gonna think that we're bums. Yeah, like, <laughs> they're still gonna think that like, yeah. oh, hey, so when are you gonna go back to college? <laughs> when are you gonna go back to college, Josh? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be like, what do you want to do with your life? Yeah, and it's like it's all the Come podcast, on, phase, baby. Yeah, <laughs> it's just the podcast, baby. You yeah. know what I mean? So I don't know. It's very. Like, I don't know, I'm very grateful for this, but there is a, an annoyance sometimes yeah. with people that don't appreciate it. People that don't know me appreciate this more yeah. than people that I know, because people that don't know me, or that don't know me personally, are fans, you know? And no, they legit, enjoy yeah. the, they enjoy the show, and I appreciate them. Yeah. But it's... people that do know me that don't see me do all this shit, yeah. uh, fucking d don't get it. No. Or they're <laughs> jealous, and they don't really want to give you your flowers for it yeah and it's like well i mean you know fucking you know crabs in a bucket it's just a human nature at some point yeah um but like it's just yeah it is belittling because it's like even if we did get famous and we could just do this as a job yeah we're podcasters oh yeah that's another thing too is like people don't respect <laughs> Podcasters. Even though, like, we technically it's we can not, technically say we're TikTokers we're or not we're YouTubers, firefighters. You yeah, know you know we're not, I mean? and like, yeah, you know, we we're never gonna be a firefighter. In, not only are we uh, in entertainment, we're in, in a the, subset the, the of the entertainment, entertainment that gets fucking shit on all bunch, day long. Yeah, because everyone thinks they can do it, and everyone, everyone does have one, and it's mostly they're pretty shitty. Yeah, and ours is too. Some people can't even understand what we're talking about for the first hour. Yeah. I understand that at some point that's a failing on us. But also Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um I forgot. Asshole. Asshole. Solved it. I Solved got pee it. again. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Podcasting gripe from Sarah number thirty two. Josh, Josh pees all the time. Has to pee. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. This one's amazing. Oh Rez. Uh, amazing. It's about mazes? No. Oh. It's about it's about care. it's an absolute tragedy. Oh, okay. Um, am I the asshole for telling my brother it's his own fault our parents don't love him? <laughs> <laughs> what let's, do you what do you think? Hear them. What do you out. guys think immediately? Guys, say it with me. Let's hear, hear them him out. out. My male twenty three brother, male twenty five, is a complicated man, honestly. That I don't like the. He never had a good relationship with anyone in, in the family, not with our parents, our sister, female 27, or me. He blames everything on everyone but him. He convinced himself he's the victim of a scapegoat slash golden child scenario. He believes our parents never loved him because our sister was the princess of the house and I was the baby while he was nothing. He also blames us because we were good at stuff. And our parents often congratulated us. Meanwhile, he wasn't good at anything. So there was nothing to be proud of. Jesus Christ. S this one's a hardcore one. Sister and I were good at school, had good <laughs> grades, were practicing sports and other hobbies, and were unproblematic. Fuck you. <laughs> Already, yeah. <laughs> he, however, was failing at school, had to repeat a year. He wasn't friendly with his classmates, so he had no friends never tried to better himself, and dropped out of school to sell drugs. And this is the one that really made me, this is the sentence that made me want to choose this one. Yeah. Literally a disaster. You said that about your brother. You said that about your fucking brother, dude. What a dick. Fuck you. When he dropped out of school, parentheses 17 years old, my parents kicked him out and disowned him. We lost track of him for some years. 
Then about a year ago, I casually found him in a bar. He looks very different now, and we spoke a lot. We have been having contact ever since. He told me he was addicted to some drugs and also was selling. He had an overdose, and luckily someone found him and took him to the hospital. The doctors were able to save his life, and he was put in rehab, which helped him a lot. Thank God. Bro, fucking your family almost killed your brother, dude. Yeah. He, Holy he, shit. He, he did nothing. Your family should have helped him. Yeah. So he didn't get to that point. Jesus. I'm glad to hear that his life changed. He has a new job and a boyfriend. He also goes to church now, which is not something for me, but well, at least it's helpful to him. I'm glad. I'm glad he's able to find help. Yeah. Same. Yeah. We met every once in a while to talk and also sometimes text each other. I haven't told my family this as he asked me not to, which I respect. Well, the other day he came to my apartment to hang out and watch a football game together. We were talking about our childhood and he said that our parents have always hated him for no reason and it made him feel worthless. Then I told him that he did some bad stuff too and he can't blame everything on our parents. Centrist mode fucking activated, dude. Bro, bro, as an eight-year-old, you should... Okay, well, hold on. Eight-year-olds can be abusive, too, guys. Yes, exactly. They can be manipulative. We've talked about We've this. We've talked about this. Yeah, no, for sure, yeah. He argued that he did those things when he was a teenager, literally years after being mistreated by his parents when he was a child. Oh, wait, so then there is... So you admit that he was mistreated as a child. But he should have just Get picked over himself it. up by yeah, his Yeah, you should have gotten over it. What a fucking... I... Uh, <laughs> I told him it's his own fault. Our parents never loved him because even <laughs> as a child, he was difficult. You need to burn in hell. You need to burn in fucking hell. I don't even, I can't even, I can't even stress enough. You gotta fucking burn. Holy shit. You should be taught, you should be fucking <laughs> crucified and burned for the witch that you are. Oh my God. Then he blew up at me? He, why? <laughs> why? Why? Why would he why do would that? He be so why mad? would he? Why would after you admit that he, yeah, the parents mistreated him, would he? he why, but he deserved, but he deserved it. Because he was wearing a short skirt. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he, he should have worn different clothes. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Then he, he shouldn't have had a hole. He yeah. should have been more pleasant when he was. Should have been more pleasant as a three year old and stop fucking crying and shitting his pants. Then he blew up at me. He called me an asshole and all sorts of names. He told me I'm just as shitty as the rest of our family and left. I tried to call him, but he won't answer. Since I can't talk to my family about this, tell me, Reddit, am I the asshole? Yes. You're more than the asshole. You're the devil. You're the devil. You're the fucking devil, You're the dude. fucking devil. Holy shit. Wow. So... If you actually think that a child can be difficult and deserve abuse... Yeah. I need you to just exit off the plane of existence. Yeah, you shouldn't You shouldn't be a parent. You um. You, you cannot be a parent, actually. I, don't, I, I want you to never speak to me or be in my vicinity. Ever. I really... Yeah. That's... You signed up. You... You got pregnant. You impregnated someone. If you see me at Wingstop and you walk in and you see me and you're like, oh, wait, fuck. I can't be within eight feet of Sarah because <laughs> she thinks that wailing. children uh, don't. <laughs> yeah, she will start wailing. <laughs> but uh, because I think children should be abused. Yeah. And then you just turn on and go to a different Wingstop. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want. You got to travel 10 miles to the next wing stop. Sorry. I don't like that I have to breathe your air. Exactly. Man. Yeah. You shouldn't be breathing my air. No. I, your atoms are going to hurt humanity. Yes. Even after your death. <sighs> I really can't like stress and like, I don't know. I feel like, ah, uh, oh, fuck. I forgot what I was going to say after the, before the wing stop thing. Hold on. Um, I'm sorry, but fucking, I think this is why my mom really deeply wanted me to believe in a meritocracy mm. because, and she was very much like, if you work hard, you will be good and people will like you. And it just didn't happen to her because that's not how capitalism works. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're you're going to be stretched as far as they, they can stretch you. And I was like, that's just not how life is. And uh, because of that, I think I, I started becoming disenfranchised from the logic she was trying to teach me mm -hmm. in her abuse. Yeah. And that was what led to the break i think because i was completely brainwashed up until you know i started going out into the world and meeting other people and experiencing life and going through hardships because i, I was like well if my mom's mad at me i must not be good enough 
Jesus. But really, she was just choosing. Yeah, choosing to be to, mad. Yeah, and like God, just fucking. And to scream and yell and be ter- like, and she might have been mad, but that's not the way to deal with your anger, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's very important in family dynamics like this that the children believe that you have to earn your parents' love. Yeah, when it should be just, uh, what is it? Unconditional. Yeah. And if, straight up, I've told you this before, my mom was like, unconditional love does not exist. You will never have, uncon-, and fully made me think, I would never be unconditionally loved by anyone. Good parenting. Good fucking parenting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. God, fucking ridiculous. And I had to do this or that or act this way and be pleasant. And I had to laugh at her jokes in the morning for her to love me. <laughs> and that's the kind of, that's the level of abuse that can, you know, brainwash a child into saying something so fucking terrible to someone else. Yeah. Imagine if you said that to some fucking guy. Mm. Yeah, you're the reasons your you're the reason your parent never loved you. It's because you're difficult. Yeah, you never accomplished anything, and that's why no one should love you. Like what? Yeah. Like <laughs> ridiculous. What the fuck? You're the one of the fucking evil people from uh, Kingdom Hearts. The like yeah. the like people that are just pure darkness. Those guys. Yeah, you're one of them. God, what a soulless hunk of a, <laughs> like, uh, not hunk, fucking shell of a yeah, human being. What a soulless little shell. Yeah. The Take all of your accomplishments away. Fucking, let's say one day you go bankrupt. Someone steals all your money. You're no longer successful and your parents don't love you anymore. That's the level that you're on. Yeah. You're walking a thin motherfucking line. God. You're getting to a car accident, but the other guy doesn't have fucking, or uh, doesn't have uh, insurance and you don't have underinsured motor insurance. So you just lose all, you lose your Everything, body, pretty much. you lose your car, you lose your job because you can't go to work, you don't get anything, you don't have health insurance, you can't go, and your family doesn't love you anymore because you're not able-bodied. When play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. That's how it is. It's a meritocracy. Yeah, it's a meritocracy, actually. You yeah. shouldn't have gotten into that accident. You shouldn't have, yeah. Oh, it wasn't your fault? It was kind of your fault. You went on the road. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You Come should on. know that. To be, you should be safe you when you're driving. Actually, you should have gotten to a helicopter and get to wherever you were going. Yeah, you should have biked. Or you taken the walked. bus or walked. You walk. should have done yeah. something else. Fucking ridiculous, man. I hate people Everyone so much. Everyone should get underinsured motor insurance. Just letting you know. <laughs> I'm just, this is a pro tip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God. We solved it, though. Am I the asshole for kicking out our youngest child at 19 so we can sell the house and downsize for our early retirement? Yeah. My wife and I have three children, 25 female, 22 male, 19 male. We're 45. We've both always had the plan to work hard while we're younger and retire early. Thankfully, we've gotten lucky in life, and we're now in a position to do that with our savings. The oldest two kids have moved out now, and it's just the youngest who still lives at home. We have a four-bedroom that's in a more rural area, which is a big empty house for just us and our son. The plan is to downsize, sell the house, and move to some small place in the city. We hope to travel a lot, so we don't need a huge place. We've decided to sell the house in a few months. Our son isn't happy about that, even less so when he couldn't convince us to take him with us. He said it's what? unfair. Couldn't convince you to take him with your 19-year-old with you? Yeah, okay, hold on. Our son isn't happy about that, even less so when he couldn't convince us to take him with us. He says it's unfair that his siblings got to live at home until after college, and yeah. he has to leave now. We offered to pay first, last, and security on a place that he, any place he finds, but he thinks a few months' notice wasn't enough to give him time to move and look for a job. I reminded him that he was lucky to have a good childhood with plenty of luxury, and that even paying to get him settled is a kindness. He accused us of, of, of us prioritizing our retirement over his well-being yes. and said that we're lucky to be able to retire at all. Yeah. He took it even further and got his siblings involved. They supported him, to my surprise. Yeah. They think we should either be fair and wait another couple of years or take him with us. When we didn't back down, our daughter said he could fly over to her house to stay there, despite sharing a one-bedroom with her partner and our Mm. granddaughter. That's so sweet of her. I think it's insane that they expect us to put our lives on hold for years just to allow him to live with us. Well, it's insane that you had a child and you're not willing to take care of him. Yeah, right? 
but none of the kids have been talking to us much, so I guess they're united against us. <laughs> Our older son even said that when he gets a place of his own, he lives with roommates right now, that we won't be welcome to stay there awesome. when we visit. Awesome. I love it when the siblings band together and help each other. Yeah. Okay, fucking OP has offered the following explanation for why they think it might be the asshole. Only two reasons. Only two reasons here. Oh, only two? Okay. Selling our home despite our son still living with us to we might be being unfair. You know you, you, you know are. You know you are. You know you are. You little are you sneaky fucking bitch. kidding? Yeah. And with college stuff, if you do it for everyone and then you don't do it for one, it's fucked up. You're an asshole. It doesn't Fuck matter what off. it is. You're being unfair, yeah. Yeah. And people are for sure going to be like, it's their money. It's their money. They're allowed to do what I'm they want. I'm saving a comment they to like write the it. end. But yeah, fucking. <laughs> yeah, like literally straight up like fucking. Um, that's just wild. In this economy, it's crazy. It's crazy to do that. Yeah. Also, yeah, a few months is not enough time to find a no, place yeah. and a job. Are you fucking kidding me? A few, yeah. Fucking. Ugh. I think it took us like a year almost. When did we decide? We decided maybe it took us like six months. We decided in December that we were going to move in together. That gave you like ten months until your lease was up, right? Yeah, yeah. And we started looking, and then the rates change. Really, you should be like when you look from the time that you settle in, it should be like one to two months. Mm. But like, also with the prices being the way they are, maybe he has to get a job. Yeah, that's what it seems like. He has to find a job first then find out what his income is to pay for how long is the training for the job five to six weeks usually yeah and is the training different from the regular hours and then it's 90 days until he gets um health insurance so yeah well, i guess he's 19 so he might be on his parents health insurance so he might have not have to deal with that but if they're just but gonna they're fucking abandon him yeah, yeah if they're gonna if retire they're, retiring, they're not gonna have health insurance for him so probably. then he has to get health insurance so he's not gonna know what his actual paycheck is until three months into his job yeah. Maybe if yeah, if he's lucky. That, well, I mean, that's if he's unlucky. He could get a job with, you know. But if he's never worked, yeah, true. He's not. He's gonna go work at like a, you know, he's gonna waiter somewhere, and he's not gonna have health insurance. Yeah, and then he's gonna have to figure out how to pay for health insurance on his own. On his own, which is yeah. not anything that's taught. Which is criminal. Nineteen too. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. That's crazy. There's I so much adult shit that like no one tells uh, kids going to college. No one. And it's just, it's expected that your parents will help you. And it's like, well, if you don't have them, it's fucking crazy. Like there was a podcast uh, or like some sort of Twitch interview or something where um, this girl, she's a, she's a Twitch streamer. I don't remember her name. Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> She was like, I don't have health insurance. I don't know where to get it. And I was like, how do you get health oh, insurance? Oh, yeah. And then it was like, you pay someone for health insurance? And they're like, who? And it's like, the health insurance provider? It's like, how do I get in contact with them? And it's like, yeah. Yeah. How the fuck? I didn't, I had no idea how to get on fucking um, government health care until I fucking figured it out myself. But it's like, not everyone has the, like, ability. Ability. Or like the to just like figure everything out immediately yeah and it's gonna take a lot of time and usually those things take a long fucking time yeah god man because you need a qualifying life event you have no idea what a qualifying life event means and they you need to fucking have that explained to you yeah <laughs> pretty fucking crazy like shit and in general people don't read you can't expect people to read anymore and like understand what they're fucking reading you know what i yeah. mean yeah you, you just can't it's fucking terrible. But counter argument, I want to retire early. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fucking live it up in Malibu. Listen, if you want to retire early, fine. But why are you so against him coming with you? Yeah, right. Like, come on. How does why? You got it. You 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 you're, pooped out a baby. You're just then don't have a kid. Then don't have a fucking kid. Then don't have you a should kid. have stopped it too. If you wanted to fucking nineteen retire early. nineteen years too late to not have this kid. You gotta deal with them. Yeah, you're just asking for, again, a kid that's not gonna Dude. fucking <laughs> talk to you. Yeah, absolutely. Jesus. And now other kids, all your kids not gonna talk to you. Dude. Because you just wanna retire and travel. Yeah. I don't know how my mom did it. She just dropped my two brothers in Atlanta, in Atlanta going to college when she moved down to Orlando. Jesus. They were straight up, like, first or second year of college. 
and they had both already dropped out and were making their own lives by themselves. God, I don't man. fucking know how they even fucking did that. Uh, yeah, I don't even know. Like, like, fuck, man. Jesus, I'm very fortunate to have like supportive parents. It's really needed, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like fucking. Because I don't know how kids these days are doing it. Yeah. Fuck. Shit, man. I'm like, I know someone who um, is looking for an apartment right now, and they were straight up like, like you know, they're trying to get a one bedroom, and it's like eleven hundred dollars for a one bedroom starting. Jesus. So if they're there for two or three years it's gonna go up to 1300 at least yeah <laughs> and they had to get their mom to co-sign because they don't make enough rent to cover Jesus. three times because the place that we work at it pays 15 dollars an hour yeah and they just got this job too and they have another job Jesus. <sighs> so it's just like bruh yeah fucking um i have a comment here and okay. i don't usually read comments but this one has 30 awards in four hours. Jesus Christ. And this post has also only been up for uh, four hours as well. So like as soon as it, as it happened? Listen. <laughs> our banger start. Listen. If you are looking for validation, there will certainly be people on the sub who will tell you that you are in the right, that a 19 year old is an adult, and that you have no obligation to him once he is the past of 18. Mm-hmm. I'm here to tell you that they are absolutely wrong and you are most certainly the raging assholes. Nothing in your post indicates any kind of urgency. A 19-year-old may legally be an adult and he may legally be in the clear with respect to any obligation to house him, but a 19-year-old is still very young. He also had a reasonable expectation that you would house him as you did his siblings and give him the same opportunity to get himself settled and established as an adult than your, that your older children had. Instead, you're throwing him to the wolves of inflation, an unforgiving housing yes. market, yeah. and a difficult employment market for young people, Indeed. and expecting him to be grateful for that. Yeah. I'm heartened to see your older kids at least are standing by their younger brother. Somehow yeah. you've raised them with values better than your own. Or of that at least you should be proud. You're the asshole. Damn, why do we even do the show? Why do we even do that show? That person should That do literally this. straight up was like the that best. Was That's ex- the, everything yeah. I thought. Yeah. Usually I fucking um yeah, I don't usually read comments because they're all like, you know, basic, but that's like that, one was, that was so on succinct. And I got I gotta give credit to that person. So yeah, good, it was good beautifully job. written. Good job. You know, I'm like <laughs> This bad. It's bad. It's <laughs> bad. <laughs> That's the worst part about this podcast is everyone else could do this better than oh, us. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So do it. So do it. <laughs> <laughs> get out there and do it. Go get out there and do it. I don't know why I laughed so hard at the idea of just saying do it. Do it. Do it but legit, like do, do it. it. Yeah, do it. Ruin us. Ruin us, please. Go ahead. God. Solved it. That's our show. That's our damn show. You know, I know why other people can't do it because they can't solve it. No one else no can one else solve, solve it, it but us. We solve it. We solve, we solve it. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, what would you like to plug today? You can follow me on Twitter. Ooh. I I I, 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 I heard Blue Sky's bad. I've heard that it's just like not user friendly. Well, it's still in its beta, so I don't know. I, we haven't even gotten invited. I've been, I've applied for it, but I haven't gotten anything. Cl- they they don't know that I have a podcast. <laughs> yeah, I might try, but like, apparently it's yeah. Like the 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 at handle is like not. It's like a it's a URL or something. Oh, weird. I don't know. You can follow me on Twitter though. I'm still there, but once it becomes a fascist website, I'm gonna go somewhere else. Once. <laughs> uh, shut up. <laughs> That's uh that's so here in T H A T S O H E E R O N. Um that's T H A T S O H E E R O N. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok and Tumblr by that handle. Hmm, nice. Yeah. Uh I'm Joshua Tinland on Twitter, a guy nicknamed JC on Twitch. Even though I won't be able to Twitch stream for a little bit, I'm still waiting to get a new computer. Yeah. So if you want to help for my birthday to get us a new computer for send both him some the money. podcast and uh uh, what's it called for me to stream? Yeah. You can head over to patreon.com forward slash APWSTR or buymecoffee.com forward slash APWSTR or I, I, I'll i make a paypal.me if you guys just want to send me money. <laughs> um, fucking, but yeah, I'm also uh, Joshua Chinland on Instagram and Twitter, fucking and yeah, a podcast will save this on Instagram and Facebook, APWSTR Productions on YouTube, a podcast saves relationship on all podcasting platforms. Don't mm-hmm. forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and hit the bell as well. Or you can just write in the coffee that this is just for Josh's birthday 
and I'll be gracious and allow him to take all of it. Nah, I'll still split it in half. You wanna know why? Mm. I don't want to do the fucking math. Of, I'll do the math of, for you. Of taxes later the, when I have to explain to the government, oh, mm. why did Josh get more money this year than Sarah? But like, okay, mm. pays out, I'll send you the money. Oh, okay, nice, thanks, sweet, thank you. Solved it. So you get the money. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. Fucking okay, yeah, sweet. So mm-hmm. Yeah, just say this for my birthday, May yeah. 25th. And I'll send Josh the full money. Yeah. Uh, fucking raise five stars on Apple and Spotify podcast. I don't know if I said that already. Meh. Uh, and just thank you all for watching. Thank you so and much. And happy birthday to me. Yeah. It'll be Thursday, May 25th. Thursday, May 25th. Thursday, May 25th. Send him happy birthday message. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to me. put it in the Discord so that they all say happy birthday. Yeah, I, uh, thank you. <laughs> I thank you all for being here. Uh, See you all in the next one. Yeah, bye. Bye. Hmm. I'm going to be an older person when this podcast, the next podcast. Yeah. I'm going to be a year older. A year older. A year wiser. Mm Mm-hmm. And I'm still going to be doing... (laughs) Just farting into a microphone, dude. Yeah. Until the day I die. Actually, you need two microphones. One for farting in and one, one for, for talking pooping in. in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one for farting in one for pooping in. Yeah, because those have to be... St- okay, so you actually need three toilets. Yeah. You need one for farting. So if you feel a fart, you gotta run you to gotta that run toilet. You gotta run to the toilet. Yeah, if you and if you, if mm-hmm. you fart before you get to the toilet, you gotta you change all your clothes. You have to drop to your knees and praise God. Yeah. <laughs> and pray the sin away. You pray the sin away. Yeah. You got farting, shitting, pissing. Farting shin piss. Now coming, I think should also have its own toilet. Well, a I think human toilet. <laughs>